It's time to rumble! It's time for the 2021 30 man and 30 woman over the top rope Royal Rumble. This year's participants include the Grassman, Most Valuable Pam, the English Irish and English Bulldog Patty Boy Smith, Bin Man, Colonel Robert Earl, Jumpin' Jacob J, Angelica Sunday, Susan and Sandy, the CPAs, Vic. Vegas, the outlaw Jesse Lee, Mil Calzones, Dwight David Honeycutt, the Cow, and the Hit Mancini, China the Muncher, Wild Bill, the Taskmaster Kevin Solomon, Vladimir, Johnny Paramedico, Brianna Bella, the Scrum Mother, Moose. A Man Called Wired, The Pokemaster, Cody Shoots, Mr. Miyagi, Meloton, Bethy B. Bad, Jonas Bruno, Hobo Ken, Katie the Cutter, M. Belly, Long Island Ice T, Non-Binary Wrestler Number 2, Mets Fan Forever, The Mikva Master, Senior Guapo, Calvin Ruano, Clint Domain! Scatman Suda, the one man rye, plus a special presentation of the coronation of Kaiser Luca von Turk. Also, Sean Comro and Sergeant Richard Coleman settle their score in a Dade County strap match. And two families enter, but only one can leave when TJ, JJ, and Derek the Watts take on Big Stush and his boys in a Tower of Doom match. The road to WrestleMania begins tonight. We're ready to rumble. We're ready for the Royal Rumble. And now, Marburger Vaccines presents the 2021 Brain Buster Radio Royal Rumble. And now from east of the Pacific to west of parts unknown, south of Mars, north of hell, here are the smartest minds in the sport of professional wrestling. This is Brain Buster Radio. You only learn the way you are inside when life gets you the test. Will you back down, turn and run, or stand up with the best? Long Allen Ice T here, ready to talk pro graps with you. And it is this 2021 Royal Rumble Day for us here on Brain Buster Radio that has me feeling so, so good, so, so ready for the biggest episode in the history of professional wrestling podcasts. Tweet it, read it, tout it, shout it, be all about it. At the Brain Busters on Twitter, Instagram, Instagram Junior. We're all over the place, just like a Royal Rumble, on top of the top rope, hiding on the bottom rope, wherever you gotta be to survive and win, like I did last year. It is on. The repeat is about to happen. We've got it all. The head of the table's there, too. It's gonna be a last man standing affair, and I don't know where to begin, but thank God Almighty. We have Triple J here 
to keep things in order. We've got Moose the Mark on the internet gimmicks. We've got Vin Man here on a limited date. We do have a man called Wired down there in the bottom left, ready to be the sultan of social media. And of course, in the middle, running the whole goddamn thing, is Mil Calsonis. Happy Royal Rumble to all of you, Triple J, especially to you. Because I got to say, you are Mr. Royal Rumble, but not after this year. I am. I'm afraid you may be trying to butter me up for some type of alliance that could happen soon. And it's not going to happen. I'm just telling you that. But yes, that's, it is. That's what you got to do. It is Royal Rumble se season, the happiest time of the year. Just so close. Uh, it's going to be happening in that big Tropicana Dome for the superstars of WWE, but it's going to be happening in an undisclosed location for us. But uh, most importantly, for both Rumbles, it's going to be very safe. That's that's the most important. It's safe for all the participants, and we're going to get two winners, men and women, going to WrestleMania. Moose the Mark, what are they saying on the internet gimmicks? I mean, a lot of people are talking about stocks these days. What kind of stock are we buying in the Royal Rumble? <laughs> Long Island, I mean, much like the stonk market, we're pumping, we're squeezing, we're gamma infused, we're hedging our shorts and we're shorting our hedges. But come Sunday <laughs> night, only two competitors will be making that long, long road to WrestleMania. And I can't wait, brother. The vaccinated WrestleMania, Vin Man, you're here <laughs> and you're ready for Royal Rumble 2021, the biggest Royal Rumble of all time, because, well, Goldberg's back and the head of the table on the same card, plus two Royal Rumbles. I have to say it's easily the greatest card of wrestling I've ever seen in my life. It, 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 may, be the, it may be the best because it is the next one. Uh, no, no doubt about that. Uh, I feel like I'm saying this every year, but this is the most unpredictable rumble of all time. Uh, I, I just cannot wait uh, to to watch it. We are, you know, less than 48 hours as of this live on tape show, and I I am here to rumble. That is something I am here for. I am here to rumble. What about you, a man called Wyatt? What are you here to do besides sing and play the trumpet? I'm only singing and playing trumpets during match between matches, right? Uh, that's what I do best. Uh, I'm also here to tell you what's going on on the Instagram and on the Twitter and on the Facebook and all those great places. And everybody's what saying, about Instagram Junior? Don't forget Instagram, Instagram Junior, Junior as well. We can't forget about the little one. All everyone's saying this is the most unpredictable. Just like Vin Man says, I can't believe it. it's it's unprecedented times. Still, almost a year of this happening, and, and now. The Royal Rumble is here, and, and who knows? Who knows? You, you, Triple J says this is happening in the, the Tropicana Dome. It, it might. I know we're emanating from six different <laughs> locations might. for our Rumble. We don't know what's going to happen. How can you tell? Who well, can you trust? It's Royal Rumble season. Who Wired can you trust? Is, man called Wired is full of tricks because I, I've heard him play the trumpet, and his, his lips were not even moving. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> very talented. I, Moose to Mark, let me get to you real quick. Are you going to buy or sell that Lacey Evans is going to be pregnant with Ric Flair's child uh, <laughs> this year? <laughs> Or did, did you watch uh, Raw? Do you even know what I'm talking about? Uh, I, I have in the foggiest. I was actually going to venture a guess, but uh, no, I'll, I'll guess. let you. Take a guess. Take the I guess. Mean, Take yeah, the this guess. Is good. To the guess. moon, baby. <laughs> to the moon. It's, it's a new decade. It's time for a new child for Ric Flair yeah. is what I say. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Hold. That would really get yeah. under Charlotte's skin, though. I mean, if, if you did really you want to stick it to your daughter. Is that I mean, because you can't technically, because that's like illegal and gross. But this is like almost like sticking it to his daughter with Lacey Evans, and then it also means that maybe by like twenty forty one, we could have another Flair winning a Royal Rumble, just like last year. Because if the baby was born in the next nine months, Triple J, it could be eligible in twenty years down the road to win a, a, a Flair winning the Rumble in nearly every damn decade. Yeah, I, I mean, it's possible. Anything can happen in the World Wrestling Federation. We know that. It can. Geriatric sex. All right, Mil Calsonis, 
I need to hear from you. You're standing in front of the Hollywood sign where WrestleMania was supposed to be. It's not going to be this year. In a couple of years, it will. What What are you feeling going into this? What about all the little ninos and ninas at the orphanage? What, what's the feeling? We're a year into a pandemic. It's kind of the first Royal Rumble of, of this new era, the Thunderdome era. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I haven't been in much contact with the Nino since we're in quarantine right now. Everything's locked down. It's all written in email. I'm just in my trailer. They're telling me they're excited. They said that they're in down. The morale is down, but not at the Royal Rumbles here. The morale is all the way up, man. It's a great feeling. It's like it's it's at least for one day for a nine hour wrestling event, you could forget about the rest of your problems. And that's what we're gonna do during this show and the Royal Rumble. It is like Triple J said, the happiest time of the year. And we've got promos coming up. You're gonna hear from some of the most infamous and popular Brain Buster Radio superstars of all time. You're gonna hear from new, new superstars, un unpredictable, like Vin Man's been saying. It's all coming up. The most iconic podcast episode of all podcasts, and it's underway. But there is one quick match I want to talk about. Triple J, Women's Tag Team Championships, Charlotte and Asuka, a super team. It's like, I, I mean, I can't, I, I can't think of anything else that we've ever seen like it in WWE. Maybe HBK Cena comes close, but then... They're taking on Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, which is another type of super group. Yeah, and the difference in this one is Jax and Baszler know who they're going in there with. You know, but before, whenever they lost those those uh, those title belts, they only knew they were going up against Oscar. They had no idea that the Queen was coming back. So it's a little different dynamic. Sure. But uh, Nia Jax is on the team, so I'm sure you know she's going to drag down Shayna Baszler. The, the only thing I could actually think of it now, Vin Man, that I could compare this to is if, like, Stan Hansen and Vader teamed up to take on Yokozuna and Earthquake. This is – it just feels like the biggest and baddest of their time all going well, at it in a tag match. Yeah, and I was – you know, I, I, I equate this to whenever Sting and Luger were the WCW tag champions uh, going up against the, the Road Warriors. That That's what this feels like to me. And uh, and uh, Charlotte cool if Baszler and Jax came out with some spiky shoulder pads. I, I, I wouldn't rule that out. Great. I cannot believe you're not bringing the Masters of the Power Bomb up. This is that kind of tag team that we're seeing right oh, now. Uh, oh, they're all great tag teams. I, I mean, <laughs> everyone that pe everybody just mentioned here, outstanding tag teams. You know, just just uh, superpowers. You know, colliding here. Th th this is this is a hell of a match. I I can't this wait match to, to see this. Would 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 definitely main event a SummerSlam, and we're getting it oh, at, at, at Royal Rumble. Yeah, e easily. Uh, but but as uh, Triple J kind of alluded to at the top of the show here, uh, is Charlotte in the right frame of mind for for this match here? Uh, you know, who, who, she, she she's she's constantly thinking about who, who her dad's boning all the time. And that's just not a good place, uh, especially really, whenever uh, you're, go you're going up against uh, a an unstoppable force in Nia Jax and, and, and just a deadly woman in Shayna Baszler. I was going to say, it's a very on and off relationship uh, her and her father have had, you know, yeah. ever since she's been called up to the main roster. None of this matters. Charlotte Flair's, Flair's going to be focused. She does. You don't. This, this, you don't think that's in her head? Is, and she took that woman's right. And Flair left with you know with a blonde on his arm that was not her. I, I, <laughs> I'm convinced it's all part of a plan, and Flair's going to screw over Lacey Evans after screwing her, and then he, and then he's going to help Charlotte win. This all was a plan. Charlotte and Rick sat down and said, "Dad, this is. I got a plan. How I'm going to repeat as Rumble champ." I'm going to win the tag titles and get you laid at the same time. And I'm going to help you get laid. <laughs> and that's exactly what Royal daughters Rumble. and fathers talk about from what I've heard. <laughs> she, he, I she know they do not. I want to put that out she, there. We, that is she not said, <laughs> daddy, daddy, how can I help you get laid? And then she said, well, you know, well, your brother, your son, you know, your son in law has got the <laughs> that wand over there with the big hat. Shot <laughs> You, know, you think, I think, you she think was, the Raw uh, reunion, uh, military or, or legends or night is? Or I don't know. <laughs> Raw legends or, or reunion or whatever you want to call it is just Ric Flair to find another girl every year. This is yeah. why they have it. Is that is get, that what it is? Get Ric Flair late night, and and then you've also <laughs> got the, his son in law has the hookup with Blue Chew too. So like this is a, a going to be oh, a great yeah. night for the Flares. 
great process. You were saying something. Yeah, well, I mean, you think that there's certainly room on a on a large streaming service like Peacock for a, a date Ric Flair uh, sort of mini series like a Let's. Date. But he's 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 is he he's been divorced Fifi, did he? Right, like he's he's no. married to Fifi, right? They Rick Flair, man. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think it's figure, uh, <laughs> hold on. The figure for love is that what we're gonna call this? Flair Ooh. cock on peacock. That's what I call it. <laughs> a flare for love. That's what. It yeah, is. like a, a dating show. Love. Yeah, like The Bachelor. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Brett Michaels. He could give Rick everybody Flair's a rose. Sexist. Or like a boa. Yeah. All right, pick, let's pick the match all around. Triple J starting with you up top. I said I'm going with the champions to retain in this one. Double champs. Double champ retains. I like it. I'm with you, too. I got Asuka and Charlotte Flair because, well, she's Charlotte Flair. Uh, no one mentioned how this might affect Charlotte and Asuka and everybody else in the Royal Rumble, Vin, man. Who are you picking and what do you think of that? Yeah, uh, yeah that's, you know, pulling double duty is, is tough. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, Shayna Baszler... Certainly, Charlotte Flair. You know they got they got the stamina to to do it. But he, he, whenever you got to go against twenty nine other competitors, it, it's really going to come up to the luck of the draw for yeah. for them. We already know that neither will be getting that coveted number thirty spot. They just don't have the tenure in the company uh, to yeah. <laughs> to get that. Uh, I, I'm going to go with with uh, with Nia and Shayna. I think that yeah, you know, Charlotte. You know, while she is uh, a, a just a tremendous athlete, and we we know what Oscar could bring to the table, Charlotte, if, if you're her, you got your eyes set on the bigger prize. You, you got your eyes set on winning that Royal Rumble match. You're probably uh, not going to be as focused. I thought you were going to say getting your dad laid, but the Royal Rumble is important to. Oh, oh, sure. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, it, it, can you imagine the party there's going to be if Char if Charlotte wins? I, I don't think Ric Flair is going to have any problem getting laid at all uh, with that. And you know, Charlotte, it, you know, it, and it's probably to her advantage also, you know, to to let uh, Oscar stay in that match a little bit longer, get beat up, and then you go to win the Royal Rumble, then you challenge uh, the champion who who's just took a took an ass beating. You know, There's so Charlotte much Flair going was... on here. Oh, my God. You <laughs> paint in so many scenarios. If, if Charlotte Flair was taking any advice from her father, it would be do not tag into this match. Let these women battle it out themselves. Lose the title and go on to win the Royal Rumble. Uh, I have Charlotte for that very reason. I don't think. Uh, yes, this whole Lacey Evans thing is key. Charlotte you know, Flair! Like, distraction. But really, her focus is on the Royal Rumble. She doesn't care about these tag titles. She's going to go to the Royal Rumble and challenge whoever the UK champion is probably or something. <laughs> That'd be Kaylee Ray. You watch your damn mouth, Wired. Don't get me angry and talking to NXT UK. Moose the Mark, who you got? Uh, uh, I, I, I guess I got to, you know, I just admire greatness in all its forms. Uh, I got to go with Charlotte and Oscar here. I, I don't have much to weigh in there. That's a hell of a pair. Where, what it about is. CBS? What's CBS I, saying about this there? <laughs> CBS Sports Line? <laughs> CBS Sports Line? Oh, God. <laughs> No, I, I never repeat that gimmick. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, no, I don't know. I'm, we'll return. To, I'll save put a pin in that. <laughs> Bill Calsonis, who you got? Uh, I'm going to have to go with the two best wrestlers. Uh, and that's going to be Oscar and Charlotte, you know? And I think Charlotte's yes, been on yes, TV before. Yes, so I'm going to go with yeah. Charlotte. She's not been all on right, TV shows and all that stuff. Charlotte Flair. Lead an Oscar to a tag team championship match, but we all know that what the important thing of the night is setting the tone and what ultimately at the end of the show everybody's most concerned about not who wins the Royal Rumble, not who wins the tag championships or the, any other championships. It's will and who will bang Ric Flair. That is the question, that is the theme of 2021's Royal Rumble. Triple J, we got to pick our numbers now, man. Yeah, we got to. I'm getting Rumble something, in, I'm getting something in my ear. Is it time for me to uh join a different I got call? It too. Yeah, that's why. So okay. you got to go. You got another Triple J's got to get off this call. I'm going to grab a drink of water. And for all you brainiacs out there, it is time now for your favorite part of the Royal Rumble episodes. And I know it's the promos. Those are coming up. And we're also going to find out what numbers some of us are getting. So let's all get to it right now. You are listening to the 2021 Brain Buster Radio Royal Rumble. We will be back right after this. Ha <laughs> ha
All right, picking my number from the comfort of my own home. We're not going to have anything go wrong. This is a very sterile environment. Nobody to switch me or rob me out of anything. I just know it. This is going to work out. Welcome, Triple J, to the official digital WWE Royal Rumble Selection Zoom call. As you know, I will be the official digital WWE Royal Rumble selection disperser, Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Now, throughout the day, you and your fellow brain busters will select your entry number into the Royal Rumble. I will preside along with referee Drake and former Raw Women's Champion Nia Jax. Yeah, also, FYI, this uh, conversation's being recorded in case they tried deplatforming us, shutting us up from speaking up about the child trafficking ring currently being run underneath Tropicana Field. I'd like us to say a prayer for the children and Triple J before we proceed, Mr. Sanders, if that's okay with you, or does my religion get you all butt hurt? Now, now, now let, let me be clear. The WWE is no longer going to favor the top 1% of superstars when it comes to who draws number 30 in a Royal Rumble. The fossil fuel industry, the health insurance companies, Wall Street, and the Hurt Business, including the CEO, Bobby Lashley, none of them will have a say in what order a superstar enters the ring in my watch. And excuse me, he is not the CEO, he is the CHO, the chief hurt officer of the hurt business. Okay, I don't I don't know what you guys are talking about here, but you know, it it sounds good to me. I just need to know what my number is. I need something better than the other years, you know. I just want a fair shot at a good number. Well, you are going to get a fair shot because that is all we are asking for here in the WWE Digital Royal Rumble Numbers Dispersal Program. This year, the luck of the draw will be honored and there will be Rumble Care for All. Now, Miss Jax, it is cold in here. I am wearing mittens, making it difficult to grip. So will you please roll these balls and select one for Mr. Jacob J? Whatever. Now, Drake, please hold Mr. Jacob J's number up to the screen and show him where he will be in the Royal Rumble, an event designed to give opportunity to the disenfranchised instead of reserving main events for those who are born into wealth. Yeah, Triple J, they gave you number one, man. This, the United States is not a country, though. It is a corporation. Don't let them tell you this is your number, man. This, you, this is your country. You are... A sovereign citizen. Don't sit down. Hello? Hello? Oh, wait, what? Did I hit something here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that it? Do I, are we done? Do I sign off? Uh, what, what about, should I call my, my notary? No. I, am I really number one? Hello? Guys, who's, who's on this call? Hello? God dang it. Twenty twenty has taught me a lot of lessons, one of which is patience. I have been practicing the ancient techniques and the art of karate. I've been training in my home dojo and eliminating all of the negativity from my life. You see, this Sunday at the Royal Rumble, you will be witnessing something the likes that you've not seen or heard of since the under eighteen All Valley Karate Championships of 1984. You see, balance is key, and I, daniel son, will be using these techniques, one such of which is the crane kick to knock out the one they call Moose, the Vin Man, and Long Allen. You see, I will wax all the competition off the top rope and on to the floor.
Well, 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 the grass man is here. I'm looking around at all my so-called competition, and all I see are a bunch of ugly, puny little weeds growing in my lawn, my kingdom, thinking that I don't notice them. Well, I've got a message for you, little weeds. You'd better get ready because I'm about to go Scott's Turf Builder on all your asses. I'm gonna find you, and I'm gonna scythe chop you with the fury of a thousand blades. I'm gonna pull what's left of you up by the root and toss you in the compost pile. And then, I'm gonna kick back in my lawn chair, drink a beer, and watch your body slowly shrivel in the hot sun until you're nothing but fertilizer for my petunias. Run and hide, little weeds. The grass man is coming, and there is no escape. And now, please put your hands together. She was born and raised right outside of Swanson and Rittner, where she learned to wrestle her patented trademark efficient style wrestling. She is posting an undefeated record in the year 2021. She was most recently voted Librarian of the Year by the Library Observer magazine for a record-setting seventh straight year. She's wrestled all over the world, including, but not limited to, the mean streets of Atlantic City, Muscle Beach, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Tokyo Dome, and North Carolina. She is the most valuable Pam. This Sunday at the Royal Rumble, it's going to be me versus 29 nameless gray faces. We respect their ability and what they're capable of, but when it comes to January wrestling, we can't live in our fears, and we're very thankful to be in this coveted position. Critics have asked me about the circumstances put forth on us with regards to these unprecedented times. To be quite honest with you, we don't care. The standard is the standard, and this is just part of the game. And obviously, we've put forth the required preparation that's necessary for a championship caliber performance this Sunday. This is a great opportunity to showcase our talents in a professional wrestling ring, and we intend to do just that. Questions? I'm here on set with Mills Casones. Thank you for sitting down with us, Mr. Casones. You are the May Young Classic winner, the UK Tournament winner, and the two-time Royal Rumble winner. After a long career, do you still have what it takes to win a third Royal Rumble? Look, great question, but before I answer any of the questions, what do you think of the movie set that I'm on right now? You know, you're the only person that's getting a sneak peek on my new movie, Milk Out Sones versus the Coronavirus de Tijuana. So, you know, that should be pretty exciting. Wait, hold on. Jennifer? 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 Water, please. Water. Just one water, please. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, yeah, so let me answer your question. Uh, yes, I'm still in my prime, and yes, I've accomplished a lot of those in my younger days, but I can still go with the best of them. Look, I am the first and only man to win the 40-man Royal Rumble. I'm the first ever to win the May Young Classic, and I am the first ever to win the UK Tournament. I am a man of many firsts. And if that doesn't speak for itself, man, I, I don't know what else will. The last Royal Rumble you won was almost four years ago, and you haven't come close since. Look, the Royal Rumble is the most grueling match out there. Okay, nothing compares to it except maybe the Iron Man match. But I've heard your other interviews. I haven't seen you ask Long Allen Ice-T. I haven't seen you ask the man called Wired, Triple J. I mean, when was the last time you saw Vin Man or Moose ever win anything. Okay, okay, let's move on. You say you are the man of first, but Triple J was the first to win three Royal Rumbles. How do you feel about that? Look, I've won three Royal Rumbles before Triple J ever did. I was the first man to do it, but because of some kind of BBR politics, they just don't want to count, and I only have two. You know what, man? Next question, next question. People on social media and other platforms have said, and I quote, Mills Casones is overrated. Mills Casones should go back to Mexico, not because he's Mexican, but because he sucks. Mills Casones is a 400 pound bag of shit. And the latest one, Mills Casones, more like Mills sellout. What do you have to say? I go to Hollywood on my free time and they call me a sellout. Is this what it's come to? I've won two Royal Rumbles. I've won a May Young Classic. I've won a UK tournament. And yes, I haven't won all my Super Pose Downs lately, but guess what? Let me give you a little peek behind the curtain. Not everyone wins a Super Pose Down. And what? I give my blood, my sweat, 
my tears, and every last man standing, and this is what I get? Huh? Every time I walk around, all I ever hear is chants of, We hate Mill! We hate Mill! Mill Casson, it sucks! Mill Casson, it sucks! And you know which was my favorite one out of all those? Mill. Die. Mill. You know what, man? No mas. You know what? This interview's over. Take this off. You need to get out of here. Get out of my movie set. This interview's over. Whoa, whoa, man. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. I didn't mean to offend you. It's okay, man. You want to go Hollywood? I understand, you know? Yeah, get it. Hollywood? Oh, you think I'm Hollywood now? Oh, you want to see some Hollywood? Is that Hollywood enough for you, huh? I've shook all the hands and I played by all the rules and where did that get me? Nowhere. So no mas. Cause this Sunday, Hollywood milk out Sonus walks into that Royal Rumble only if the check clears and the money's right. Have your guy call my guy, babe. Jennifer, Jennifer, get this piece of trash out of my trailer. The Brain Buster Radio 2021 Royal Rumble rolling on here. Triple J, some bad luck, but we've got some some awesome, great. awesome competitors in this year's Rumble. I'm feeling it. Great start so far, Brain Busters. How did that 400-pound sack of shit make it over the wall? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> what wall? What wall? Moose the Mark. I, I, I hope you're re I hope you're ready for all combatants this year, whether they're from Japan or from Mexico or North Carolina. <laughs> long, as long as they've tested negative and quarantined for however many days, I bring them all in from everywhere. Antarctica, Addis Ababa, all these everywhere, all corners of the world, baby. Bring them. Well, here we are, Triple J. Get us in order. What's next on our agenda? We've got promos coming up. We've got more. We're going to hear from all sorts of competitors. We've got special segments planned. But there are Royal Rumble matches, championship matches to get to. Yes, Royal Rumble matches. Let's talk about which I think should be a very short conversation. Universal Championship on the line. Of course, the big dog with Paulie in his corner, taking on Kevin Owens. It's a last man standing match. Does it really matter what kind of match it is because the big dog's in it? I don't think <laughs> it's, 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 it's kind of hilarious. I mean, I, I have to just, I'm not actually going to laugh. I'm just going to do what I should do, and that's pay homage to the head of the table and just thank him for giving us a Roman Reigns match at the Royal Rumble when he really doesn't need to. He's already beaten this, this Quebec bastard so many mm -hmm. times yeah like it doesn't he doesn't have to do this this he's literally just doing it to put food on kevin owens entire family table yeah. including his yeah. parents now who he's looking to support the big dog is literally the greatest human being to ever live for how big his damn heart is what's the mark yeah. boy he sure he sure has beaten kevin owens seven ways to sunday huh this probably isn't even their first last man standing match. <laughs> Not to mention it on Raw. I could like, see one happening like three years ago. Yeah, on Raw in like 2016. So, man. On a, on a Christmas edition of Raw. <laughs> Halloween yeah. smash. So, I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is the stakes have never been higher. Is is as As they are this sunday at the royal rumble it, now, well, i mean it, technically yeah technically but really they're i mean it's a guaranteed win go to fan duel it's going to be like plus a billion i mean it's they're not even putting not it on the board fair. right it's good like, man i mean this yeah, is kind of the, this is one of those squashes yeah. i think uh, it, it really is how many times do they count uh kevin owens down versus how many times does the big dog go down i'm gonna say it's it's one time for the big dog maybe because he wants a break yeah um, kevin owens gonna be done like 15 times we're not we're not seeing a lot of action on the side in this in this uh bout it's mostly on the props uh i'm seeing more i heard there's more action on like danny limelight matches on AEW dark this week than on this match yeah nobody there's... nobody nobody wants to touch this and and, I, I... and like you said long Island, this this is just like a charity bout almost for yeah. for kevin owens i mean what, what do you think what, what do you think his purse is gonna be uh just for whatever for it is 
Whatever it is, he needs to put it all into GameStop, Tootsie Roll, <laughs> AMC, Dogecoin. Got to got to block got to ride it, baby. Blockbuster. To the moon. Ride that shit, KO. Yeah, take this no. take this gold the big dog is just giving you. He doesn't have to and and capitalize on it. What a moment for that guy. Good for Kevin Owens. I you know what, and going back, I I'd, I'd give Roman Reigns a, a minus four and a half seconds on this and I'd still go with the big dog in this match. It, it's there's really truly only one man in this last man standing match and that's Kevin Owens cuz the other one is the big dog. He's the chief. The He's the head of the table. He's more than just a man. Roman Reigns is uh, why? Why I guess I guess he's such a good man. That he's doing this for the for Kevin. Do, do you wanna... think whenever this match was on Raw, it popped a huge rating? So they were like, "Oh, let's do it again." <laughs> <laughs> Milk House Sonus, what do you say? What do you say uh, to uh, what if the, the big dog says, "Let's do this Japanese rules and makes it a twenty count instead of ten, just for yeah. him, just for yeah. Kevin Owens." I, I think I think they already did that stipulation on a TLC pre-show on you <laughs> to sell the network. You can make it a forty count. Uh, Kevin yeah. Owens isn't getting up. So I think they did around, this so the big dog big wouldn't dog. go in the rumble and just yeah, completely yeah. demolish everyone. I think is what it is. Or like, big dog, we're going to give you a match. Don't go into the well, rumble. I'm, and just I'm not make counting it. him out of the rumble. Not well, that's at true all. too. He could probably still show up. But either way, uh, yeah, I think everyone's going great. big dog. No one's picking Kevin Owens here. Uh, if I gave you plus nine and a half seconds on Kevin Owens, would anybody pick him? No, but that just planted something in my head. If the big dog entered the Royal Rumble, he can maybe take WrestleMania find his off. way, or no, find his way back to Bill Goldberg, who was running away from him last year at WrestleMania, and finally give us the match. You think win. Bill Goldberg started a pandemic just to get away from the big dog? No, I absolutely say that. I don't, I don't know if I put that much it. ring capacity on him. No. Bill Goldberg was the one paying people to not wear masks and be very dangerous at WWE facilities. I'd like to hear what that sounded like. like. <laughs> He's the one that told Miz to act like you're sick. Miz, get the big dog out of here. And so we never got that match, but who knows? Maybe after the Royal Rumble we will. But this is right now Kevin Owens and the big dog in some fantasy world Triple J. Say Kevin Owens won. What would that look like for SmackDown and the WWE? Uh, dark times. You know, I mean, <laughs> you got you. You really want to log on to Peacock and, and see a Universal Championship wearing the cutoff T-shirt and gym shorts. I, I mean, how many yeah, people are going to buy into that? that that's, Everybody yeah. at home because he looks just like him. Yeah, that that brings up a very interesting point, Triple J. Yeah, uh, you, you know, you, this you know, the booking of these matches is so critical right now to drive subscribers more more than it ever has before. Kevin Owens knows a lot more about the office than the big dog, so that might help him in this case because they'll be able to be able to sell, make appearances on other shows. Maybe the reboot of Saved by the Bell, featuring Kevin Owens as a character. Kevin Owens will be an extra on Superstore in one of the aisles, buying something. Kevin Owens, I could see him playing Mister Belding's son. <laughs> Kevin Owens goes on the Masked Dancer. <laughs> It is. You're right. We're talking about Peacock, Peacock, but he's actually on Fox. Yeah. What, what are the, Kev, I definitely see Kevin Owens befriending Kellyanne Conway while they're both hanging out on the mass uh, dancer <laughs> in the future. And it's Fox. They got to come up with something to. You got to make stars, Vin Man. That's what everyone's yeah. always talking about. Yeah. So yeah. Why yeah. not have yeah. Kevin Owens a part of that kind of stuff? Well, I, I don't equate Kevin Owens and star. You know, a- at all, uh, but but well, uh, he's a you former know. PWG champion. He's he's got the uh, what, what, what's that like really? Uh, that's I'm a former TWF. Champion. You know, they they you know, tore the building anything. down. I, I I've won bingo at a fire hall too. You know, that's about the same uh, thing here. <laughs> Who cares about this guy? You, know, like, you you called him a Quebec bastard. That's exactly what he is. Uh, he's gonna get his ass whooped by the big dog. In this, in this I, last man standing, match. I still respect him for get for getting up and and not being too prideful to take this hand out from the big dog. Milk Hollywood Milk Calsonis, what do you say about a super mega big time star like the big dog? Is he lowering himself by interacting with with uh, Kevin Owens here? I feel like this would be like if like 
El Santo starred in a movie with Chich Marin. It, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that would play. I mean, what, what can I say, man? You know, that's Hollywood lights. We got to do charity sometimes, right? So that's all he's doing. He's just throwing Kevin Owens a bone. You know. Maybe that's it. Well, the charity match is going to go down, and the big dog. I think we all can. Agree. I think. Big I think. I think the around. big dog. The, yeah, the big dog is Robert De Niro, and um, Kevin Owens is like Joe Pesci, right? He's just someone that he always brings along with him because he feels bad for him, needs to get his family fed. That's just what's happening. <laughs> be great. If Kevin Owens becomes a part of the the Anoa'i family, like honorary, like Paul Heyman, <laughs> and starts beating the shit out of people with baseball bats. Now that's something shovels. I go for. I've Hell dug yeah. a hole. I've dug a hole before. And talking with thick, a thicker Quebec accent. Oh, there we go. That's the match, Triple J. We broke it down. We all picked the big dog. What do you think? I think that's the only uh, logical answer to this. I, I don't see it, what, any any reason to waste more time on it whenever we have more promos that we want to yes, hear and size up the competition for all of us. All right, we do. We have more promos, more backstage access, more Brain Buster Radio 2020 Royal Rumble for you here, Brainiacs. Tweet it, read it, tout it, shout it, be all about it. At the Brain Busters, we're going to be back right on the other side of all these promos. Hear from the participants, and when we're, we return, we're going to talk another match on this epic Royal Rumble card right here on Brain Buster Radio. All right. Hello, everyone. Just want to welcome you all to whoever is joining in this Zoom call. As you know, my name is Brett the Hitman Hart. Best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. And I'm here, of course, with the uh, Triple J and uh, my good friend, The Undertaker, Mark, whatever you want to be called. I don't even know anymore. But, uh, you know, Triple J, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to myself and Mark here on Skype today. Oh, no problem, Hitman. I, I know it seems like we do it every year. Uh, it's, it's always a good time. You know, I haven't been on the Skype gimmick for a while. I'm not used to hearing those uh, special tones. We moved to something a little more sophisticated. But, uh, yeah, the early days of BBR, we're bringing it back, and I'm glad to be here. Skype has integrated NDI technology, allowing for less latency during these calls. The amount of souls lost to low quality Zoom calls is approaching my own WrestleMania record. Th thanks for that, Taker. Um, what exactly are we talking about today, Brett? Well, you know, Triple J, there's a lot of things on the agenda. I mean, we're talking about souls for a little bit. I know, you know, The Undertaker is very concerned about, you know, how many souls get lost to Zoom calls. But more, more importantly, you know, Taker and I were here to offer you an opportunity. You know, one could be really great for your career. It kind of reminds me when Vince came up to Calgary to offer me a spot down in New York. You know, I looked at my dad to see what he thought. And when I went to see him, he was, he was just feeding the cats like always. But he thought something was off because he was really going to town on our oldest cat, Daisy's Polyps. You know, the ones near anus got those glands there that uh make smells for other animals to smell and i knew my dad loved that cat but uh but not that much and then you know i realized something and i looked a little closer and it was actually owen my brother owen disguised as my dad he's i looked closer it wasn't an 80 year old man it was actually a young 20 year old blonde man who was my brother so not my dad and so you know we had a good laugh about it and you know then i went down to new york and you all know what happens happened down there but uh, you know that that was owen so triple j as you approach legendary status your eternal spirit will be in the hearts of the living this presents new fiscal opportunities for you to capitalize on have you heard of cameo yeah I've, I've heard of it i mean i don't know it seems to be a little a little tacky honestly no offense i mean i've seen you're both on there i just i don't know if it's my cup of uh your cup of double double from tim hortons is that maybe well either way you know triple j there's there's a lot of things you don't know about cameo there's there's thousands of giants fans 
not living in San Francisco. You know, I always thought it was just guys like me or Russo, you know, through Cameo. I've met a lot of people like me who pay me to say hi to their kids or their grandparents or their their mistresses or the third or fourth members of their polycule or anyone who supports me, you know, and I'm really happy to do it. It's, you know, connecting with the fans is, you know, it's why I got into the sport. And so it's, you know, it's helped pay for my, a lot of my expenses, including my MLB package. So now I can watch teams that aren't the Blue Jays, which is nice because, you know, I, I don't know where Joe Carter is. I don't I don't know him personally. I don't know if he's still alive. But, uh, you know, we, we could really we, – we miss you, Joe Carter. So Yeah, I, I mean, I hear you. Um, I know guys can make, you know, bad, bad business decisions. Uh, you know, uh, case in point, the big show, Shawn Michaels, we've seen the hardship those guys have gone through. You know, the strip malls go belly up and then uh, you got to – you got to stay in it a little longer than you want to. But, I mean, are you guys hurting for money? I always thought, you know, you two were the save your money uh, type of guys. Even in our advanced age, there are still meaningful ways for our legacies to line our pockets for important expenses we have because of the many years of digging holes and taking souls. The creatures of the night are now adults, Triple J, and they have income to spend on their heroes. Perhaps you, too, can discover alternative revenue streams as your fan base grows their own wealth. I don't understand what's going on here. How how long was I asleep for last night? I cannot believe what I'm hearing. You know, Triple J, it's real funny. It's hilarious. It's maybe one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. I'm crying tears of laughter here i don't know if you can tell but because yeah, it's funny because i thought the same thing pritchard you know told me owen was going over to msg you know and then they were going to have those 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 big camera the one up in the the ceiling that shows both of us on the mat at once and i thought that was cool i thought you know maybe we could have ended the match like that but he told me Owen was going over and I looked at Pritchard and I kind of pinched his face to see that he wasn't Owen in some sort of disguise or hologram, but it, no, it was Pritchard. And so I was a little, I was a little upset, but then Vince told me, you know, how Luger wasn't who he thought he was and how he needed me to beat Yokozuna later that night. And, you know, speaking of Yokozuna, you know, he's, he's supposed to be Japanese. He's a sumo wrestling champion, but you know, he's he's really just a Samoan guy. So, you know, I guess the lesson here is that things are not always what they seem, Triple J. Get off the damn iPad and get ready for your photo shoot with Better Homes and Gardens. And you got a cameo at 430. I must go, Triple J. I was told by your friends, Al and Eddie, to let you know that you are all elite and you can do this a word of advice transfer this income into a Roth IRA Vanguard account and you can tell the IRS to rest in peace um thanks I guess Oh, anytime, Triple J. You know, you're a legend. You're a jam-up guy. And I just want to wish all the best to you in the Royal Rumble. Hello, my name's Johnny. Some of you guys may not know me. I've been missing Royal Rumbles. I've been missing, you know, championships and, and wrestling matches. But I've been out here hard at work, working two jobs. Not one, but two. And boy, must I say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have two jobs. But every time I look out that window, when I grab my hot cup of coffee in the morning and a bagel a little tear comes down my eye because i work so hard during this pandemic in the back of an ambulance while i watch people grasping at their throats for air and i say breathe breathe but they cannot breathe because covid's in them and it's doing them a whole lot of bad i go to covid sites and i see karen saying let me take the covid test when they don't got an appointment and I said, you're not special, Karen. You keep on driving and they think I'm a bad guy. It's hard out here for a pimp when you ain't got money for the rent. It's hard out here. So when this pandemic's over, 
best believe you're gonna know who Johnny is, cause I'm gonna start winning them championships. And that Royal Rumble. Best believe. <laughs> My name is Miss Elizabeth, but today I'm going by Meloton, and welcome to the party. You made it here today, and that's all that matters. Be proud of yourself. The hardest part is showing up, just getting those two feet into the ring. This is a time where I'm going to ask you to level up and reach into your inner strength. What's your personal record? Are we going to strive for that today? In three, two, are you ready? Yes or yes. We're not here for trophies. We're here for memories. But today, we're going to bring it. Way to go, Long Allen. I see you're at two Royal Rumble wins today. Keep it up. That's what we're talking about. I see you, Triple J, climbing up the ropes. You're getting there. Keep it up. All right, let's do a sprint at the next beat. Here we go, Royal Rumble, in three, two. Wait for it. Let's find that beat in three, two, go! We don't have fast, we give it our whole ass. You don't have to, you get to MVP. No challenge, no change, Royal Rumble. Let's bring on the challenge of 29 others. A man called Wired, you're both a work in progress and a masterpiece. You got this. No need to outsource greatness. Activate it, Moose the Mark. Gotta give a shout out to Vin Man for 20 Royal Rumble entrances. I see you. We see you. We don't know when this will end. We don't know how long this will last or how it will end. But know that this Royal Rumble is not our forever. Thank you for joining me today. We did it. If no one has told you recently that you're doing a great job, well, you're doing a great job. Mick Master here, ready to win this year's Royal Rumble. You think you know about space and placing? I've been studying location, culture, ethnocentric, evolutionary, structuralism, post-structuralism, modernism, postmodernism, and how people like you move, Long Island iced tea. Too bad there isn't any water in this year's Rumble because like the Mikvah master I am, I would submerge you down those terrifying seven steps to your Mikvah. But instead, I'll just throw you over the top rope and you'd be lucky to land in a pool of water. You won't though. Y'all are gonna get cleansed so hard, you won't even know what month you're in. WrestleMania, here comes the Mikva Master once and for all. What's up, my world? I am back, and I'm ready for the Rumble. And I became too sweet. I know who's gonna win the Rumble. It's gonna be me. I don't care who's coming out. Edge, Jesus Christ, it doesn't, Vince McMahon, I'm throwing all their asses off the ropes, and I'm going to win, and my black ass will go to WrestleMania, and you better believe it, because I'm just too sweet, and you better believe it, this Sunday, I will once again win the Royal Rumble, and I will go to WrestleMania, so Roman Reigns, Goldberg, Ober. Doesn't matter, Kevin Owens, all your ass is on notice because the Hoss is coming to town and I will win the Royal Rumble. And I love you all. And someone's going to get their ass kicked, all 29 of them, because I'm just, once again, too sweet. So, it's the Royal Rumble. Or at least that's what I've been told. When Vic Vegas enters the ring, I expect to face nothing but the high rollers, the big fish. But I look around at this so-called competition and I see nothing but small stacks playing for peanuts. You're all gonna see size like you've never seen before. Full racks on racks growing and squeezing out every last ounce of your pathetic worth through your blood, sweat, and tears. You're barely worth my time, but now that you've invited me to the game, I'll savor wiping you all out one by one. 
Just remember, as I bully you with my bankroll, you brought this on yourselves. I feel like this Royal Rumble's a a workout more than it usually is, Triple J. I'm feeling feeling a little better about about my chances right now. Honestly, I'm a little pumped. I'm motivated. Uh, (laughs) But I haven't heard Wild Bill yet, so I don't want to get too happy. (laughs) Wild Bill, will he make an appearance today? You'll have to wait and find out. Brainiacs, tweet it, read it, tie it, shout it, be all about it. At the Brain Busters, let us know. What's your favorite part of the Royal Rumble each and every single year? I got to say, me, it's finding that power of positivity, Moose the Mark. I, I, saw, I ran into you during the break there. You were dancing all over the place. <laughs> You're ready for the Rumble. I'm ready for the Rumble. Let's get it. Oh, dude, that song was fantastic. My mom teaches Zumba. It's 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 extremely Zumba. Uh, power Zumba's- positivity, baby. Pop, baby. I feel it. Shout out to Mrs. <laughs> Moose. Let's get our Zumba on, some Tybo, Vinman. Vinman, you're usually the one rolling with big stacks, but you got competition this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vic Vegas bringing size to this year's Royal Rumble. <laughs> you want size? We're going to maybe check in with uh, some legends later on in the show, see who the hell's going to be picking to win the Royal Rumble. But Triple J, get us in order here. We got Mil Calzonas is in Hollywood. He's got shit to do, babe, so let's move it. Move along here. Yeah, before we move along, really quick, a man called Wired. I'm sure you're uh, you're more in touch with this than I am. If I decide to do this cameo, how much should I charge? Because the house gets a cut, right? Yeah, well, they get a cut, uh, Triple J. What, um, what do you think um, uh, uh, legitimately it, I could charge? And it's a buyer-seller's market, man. So, you know, if if, if, the, if you got the buy, then you can sell high. Do you have the buy? Sometimes I have the buy. Okay, uh, then I would go, you know... Two bucks. I know Triple J fans personally that would pay him two hundred dollars for just the text message. Could we border like like instead of just straight cash money? Could we border for like a bushel of uh, tomatoes or something? Possibly. I mean, you might have to figure out bales of hay. But if you're also, you know, it's also what information you're willing to give, right? If you're willing to give your super top secret Royal Rumble prediction. Uh, you know that's not going to happen uh, on the regular no, cameo no, though wired no. he's got to go on like farmers only cameo <laughs> i will do uh videos. birthday wishes graduation wishes motivational speeches and uh eulogies N- no more though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah a- oh, anyway <laughs> we, we got to keep the moving undertaker. please play the undertaker to perform my eulogy at my funeral. Vin Man, mark it down. That's what I want. Cameo. That's what it's You really about. want the Undertaker wishing you were to rest in peace as you are literally dying? Well, you know how fucking knows. badass that would be. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the cursed soul is just and then he's he's gonna go he's gonna do that and then go sell insurance for all state after that. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. All right, Bill let's talk Cal about so- this. Let's talk yeah, about this Bill women's Cal-Sodis has got a He's get, he's got he's getting parched. Mil Calsonis, do you have your your green tea? I know you said by segment uh, four you needed your green tea and all that. I yeah. want to make sure your your assistant was. It's good. Up. It's good. Jennifer, Je- Jennifer, it's hard to get a good assistant on here. Hold on, I'll be back. I'm gonna go get my tea. Especially during. COVID. I got one, Triple Delaney. J, you were taking, Delaney, you were taking us somewhere, Triple J. I was trying to take us somewhere. Let's I hope she that. brings you a hooker, <laughs> like <laughs> like Charlotte Flair. <laughs> Let's go to this women. Speaking of Shut hookers, I mean, let's go to the women's Royal Rumble right now. I think that's sexist. Now we have a number of entrants confirmed, plus Vin Man. We, I guess, we're gonna have two, two more because even the loser gets in the Rumble. Is that correct? They're just not number one. Uh, I don't know if that's been said, but uh, I, I would hope. The, the last I looked, I think it was around what twelve or thirteen. Uh, confirmed entrance. Yeah, I, I see 12 right now. Uh, Tamina is one of them. 
Let's see. Natty is not one of them. So this, right this now. Could, fighting for her. So yeah, this could be the end of her career. Uh, <laughs> her illustrious career. I mean, th- this could be it. Um, uh, Saturday night, I'll be watching for sure. Um, Fight night. But, but that is a that, that is so important. I mean, think if Tamina comes in there at number thirty, she's got to be the odds-on favorite. Yeah, whenever you're number thirty, you know it's either her or that that big that really tall uh, chick that Great Khali trained. I think. Yes, yeah, that's that's a good one too. Davine, uh, superstar spectacle watcher, but a super kick at number thirty coming in too. Big time favorite Tamina's got a great powerful crescent style a fresh super leg. Kick. Crescent too, by the way. At thirty, that's yeah, a fresh so, leg. You just super kick everyone out of that ring, and, and plus more time for so her to take important. to be a mom before. You know, yeah. less time in the Rumble, more time with family for Tamina. It's a huge advantage. I think she has more riding on the line than Natalie's well, illustrious career. Well, Natalia has a lot of cats that in Instagrams to keep up too. It's like tough. So, and a great career. This is a big match one, on Saturday. Actually. Two, Two paws. paws. I think she then has another it. cat that she doesn't put on Instagram though. That's her thing. There's one cat that, who's more private. Oh God, <laughs> yeah. He lives, he lives a private not on life. cameo kind of thing. No. Um, so, you've got a handful of announced, but you do have Charlotte Flair announced, so, like, why even discuss anyone else? Oh, yeah, she is announced. Yeah. She is well, only one for three, or one for two. But what, Charlotte Flair! Flair. I, I think it's just all, all the unannounced people, right? Right, Vin Man? It's difficult to prepare for that. I mean, if you see a Rhea Ripley... Or what if somebody drives drives a tank in the ring? How are you going to pick up a tank well, and throw it out of the ring? Well, that, that, that's difficult to do. Uh, but even if even if all thirty Raquel were Gonzalez announced, could. It, even Gonzalez if all th- looking strong, yeah, e- even if all thirty were announced, you still got to prepare for anything. Fit Finley may show up and say, "Nope, you're not going to be in this match. I'm going to put somebody else in the match." You got to be prepared for anything, especially when it comes to that Women's Royal Rumble. It is just all over the place. Uh, I, I've been, you know, scavenging, you know, uh, papers and notes, trying to figure out who's going to win this thing, and I, I still can't make a decision. Moose, you, Moose the Mark, you, you, you know, dabble and go into like places like ours, our uh, giant women, like I do. So, <laughs> how does how, how does it compare to the men's rumble? Does it is it oh, is it better to be a giant woman? In this match, than it is like it is in a in a men's match. Like you want to be the big show if you're in the men's rumble. Do you want to be a Nia Jax? Or How a, often? Or Raquel Gonzalez? Thank you, Moose. I know the, where you're going. The, this, Go. the thing about a, a Royal Rumble match is, you know, you always see your big your big people, your big shows, your canes, your uh, <laughs> your your collies, etc. They big come cats. in. They, big cats. Big cats. They set records. They throw people over the top. They get a lot of guys to lean on them for a while and get their, you know, take a little nappy poo. You know, the, the, and they're basically just, just taking a nap. Uh, but the, they never see them win. Yeah. They ne- These big guys, they can't close. They can't seal the deal. They can't cross they the plane. Well, what are you they're, talking they're about? targets also. What? Big show lost. Yeah, right. big show. No, big show. Big that was show a tie at best. No, he didn't. He Officially, won. he lost. He won. He was in the main event of WrestleMania because he won the Royal Rumble. Well, it didn't didn't. For, so was didn't so Big John Stud win, win the, the Royal Rumble? Rumble? Big, big John Foley was in that Royal main Royal event Rumble. because Woody McMahon felt bad for him. Like that. That's, that's he performed it. well on SNL too. Okay, that's you're right. also talking about one or two times in the last 35 years that big men have won. Well, we're not talking about Royal big Rumble. men. We're talking about but I'm talking bigger about big women. People. Okay, fine. Big yeah. women. And big Drew people. Drew McIntyre is a Jax. big man, too. Nia Jax couldn't win the Rumble, and she's been in three of them. I mean, the, you know, who. who yeah. Becky Lynch was well, small. When you're on she the shouldn't business, even have been in the, the Rumble. Person. When you're on the business end of an RKO, Nia Jax, you know, she's not going to have much chance. Well, then sure. don't get. Don't. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Don't even get me started. Oh, on I just that. thought about to that. Do you point. think Randy Orton's gonna come out and RKO some women in this room? Maybe Alexa Bliss, I guess. That, but, that, oh, that particular, oh, particular Rubicon has now been I crossed in WWE. Sexist. Multiple times in this year, Moose the Mark, we got Beth Phoenix, Nia Jax, 
and Alexa Bliss all got RKO'd this, this in the past year. Uh, and we've had some other, you know, they're, they, 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 the, everyone can handle themselves. You're in the WWE, you can handle yourselves. And then you got a masked freak, a burnt maniac like Randy Orton. I mean, what, what's going to happen if he shows up out there? I don't know. I don't know. So that's why I'm going to be safe and take Charlotte Flair because I don't think he'll target her. I think Charlotte Flair has just as big of a target on her back than any big woman that would go into this match. People know how good she is. She's finished uh, second on one, has won another. Charlotte Flair, to me, if she doesn't come in in 28, 29 in that range, I mean, she's going to be in there a long time with a lot of people after at the same time. I just pulled this up, and I've see, and I see that the, there are travel bans that are lifted, so now we could potentially see Kaylee Ray in this match. I'm taking back. I'm not making two my weeks. pick just yet. Mako Satamora. Mako Satamora could show up. Bill Calsonis, you, you might see some stardom stars in this match. Oh, man. That's actually, I'm taking away my Charlotte pick for now. I might give it later. Bill Calsonis, what, what are you going to say if, what stardom uh, potential do we have in this match? Do you think we could see B Priestley? Can we see the return of Kyrie Sane? What's going down? Well, I don't know, man. I mean, well, with all these restrictions, I don't think we're going to see anybody. There might, <laughs> might not even be there might not even be thirty yeah. people in the room. It might be, we'll be thirteen for thirty women. Maybe ten, it might be eight. You think they're going to ask Renee to be careful and just, hey, we need another person? I know you're pregnant, but like, get in there. Did we need they, a thirty. Who's the mark? Did they sign the tampon wrestler because they can't find enough women for the Royal Rumble? Because oh I never God. thought she was going to get to WWE. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a backhanded attempt to uh, get back at Darby Allen or something. I don't know. They know. That's, they su that's such that, a Reddit they, comment. Darby Allen and a, Priscilla Kelly are totally on good terms. I don't even know what yes, you're Yes, they broke about. up on good terms. You are. This is not TMZ. Yeah, Darby Darby Allen. Allen. Yeah, couples always break up on good terms. <laughs> Who the hell is John Cena? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Now the only yes, reason. Yes, 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 yes. yes. The old, here, Bill Calsonis, or I'm sorry, Hollywood Calsonis, the only reason I know who Darby Allen is is because he was married to Priscilla Kelly. He's out there wrestling on some no-name network, no-name show that I know of. Uh, I will say this about Darby Allen. Uh, some of the best music entrance music going yeah. today i would yeah. say uh, in terms of hyping up a crowd uh and even if it is a small crowd uh at at daily's place i if you don't know who darby allen is then you might not have cable or i don't know you've got restrictions or you missed the first 10 minutes you don't like hoodlums maybe <laughs> you, I mean, they are, they are hoodlums. <laughs> as someone who doesn't, I, I, I'm not a skateboarding fan, but I respect the risk yeah. involved. And if, if you're okay with Sting, you're okay with me. That's if, if the I'm Hardy here. Boys is where you draw the line at punk rock, look, you can Darby put Allen Allen is blind. Yeah, if you're Allen. like, if you. If you're in the if you're in the uh, Billy K realm of if you like the kind of punk rock she likes, Triple J, you're not gonna like Darby Allen. No, no I, I guess not. Well, what about we, we haven't talked about Bianca Belair? Now I'm not sure Big how I'm not sure how much uh, running an obstacle course counts into winning the Royal Rumble or being competitive in it. But I, I'm sure there could be some correlations. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, she, she's she got the stamina. She's got the agility. She's got the she strength. Fucking uh, she picked up Otis. Yeah, she might Dude. be my pick with with how good she's looked over the past. With, with a good draw. I mean, in the yeah, 20, with a good definitely. draw. I, I can honestly mean, say I haven't watched, you know, I haven't been watching, uh, keeping up with WWE a lot. I caught that whole no. obstacle course thing. I thought it was the dumbest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Oh, but you it's think it's context. But then she context did is keen, brother. But then she crushed. She crushed it. She did like carry Otis and like make that dunk, and it was crazy. It's like, <laughs> were you getting mad at Red Bots from like the original NXT whenever I'm they were live doing obstacle courses? It gave me like American. Gladi it definitely gave me American was, Gladiator vibes. 
I wasn't very impressed by it because I knew I just know Bianca Belair was good, was capable of something like that. What I was more shocked with was just how oh, the Money in the Bank winner has been reduced to literally just a weight. A prop. <laughs> he's a prop. He's just a prop. In an yeah. obstacle he's objectified. He's objectified, frankly. Hey, he may have been in uh, SmackDown this week. He has no agency. Well, he's an object. Yeah, but to be fair, like a dozen people may have been in SmackDown this week. <laughs> Ten. Ten. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I, you're I, right, Moose the Mark. As much as the the women's evolution is has grown, and we've got a, a fourth Royal Rumble here, and this is awesome. We're talking this match. What's happening to the fat man in WWE is a shame, and this is someone that could benefit from wrestling on TNT. That's what I'll say there. But back to the women's Rumble. Uh, well, remember, I think last year somebody said Otis would uh, <laughs> would enter the Women's Royal Rumble with a little bit of tucky tucky, but who knows what's going to happen this year? Um, <laughs> surprise tucky. entrance, anyone, anyone? Who you got? I, I'm Knowing not willing to give away close. too much, but I I think you're going to see Rhea Ripley. Haven't seen her in NXT since. Is that correct? Since what? Since what? Since uh, the last Women's Standing match, right? No, yeah, you're yeah, right. Since no. Raquel beat it was like two her. weeks ago, no. three weeks ago. Yeah, um, uh, I think we're definitely going to see some NXT. Beth, Beth Phoenix. Florida. I think. No, Beth she's Phoenix in Canada. In there. No, can't she's back over. in Florida. She's been calling matches in Florida. I can't even tell. If her hubby's there, there, she'll be there. And he will be there. He's announced. So that would be great if Beth Phoenix won the Rumble and Edge lost. I would, I'd, I'd be really happy if that happened. Edge was the last guy eliminated, but Beth Phoenix won earlier in the night. What was that like phrase he kept repeating? I don't know. Did, did we like Edge's promo? Uh, he he quoted a Nazi, so no. Oh God! <laughs> it's, but it happens. other than it that, happens. it was pretty good. It was you know you can't keep track of everyone's political you know affiliation, I guess. What was the thing his mom his, his mom told him something and that's the phrase he kept repeating? Is that the Nazi phrase? No, no, no. He kept saying like just do it or go out there and just do it. Do it. Yeah. That was it. Really? My, that's... Mom, my mom came up with the Nike slogan back in nineteen ninety. Ah, exactly. <laughs> yes, thank you. Now, someone anyway. I think is very interesting in this entire concept. We haven't really talked about her a lot because she's been only back for a few weeks. Is Sonya Deville? How does she play a role in this? Do you think she's going to strap up the boots and get into this match herself? Because she's she taking was on this like pseudo she was confirmed. GM, wasn't she? Um, oh, Shayna Baszler. No, she's taking on. No, not, she, I'm not she, Shayna she, Baszler. Sonya Deville. Did I say Shayna Baszler? I'm sorry. No, you Sonya said Deville. Deville, Deville is yeah, not confirmed. Deville. Are you sure? She is. She's taking on this pseudo GM role on SmackDown, looking uh, really fly in these suits. I guess not. Uh, yeah. I think if she wants to be in it, uh, she'll just place herself in it. Yeah, it's it's no different than anybody else, really. I mean, I mean, we've, we've I mean all, she, all you have this, to do is declare, and, and yeah. you're in. Seemingly, we've co we've come to the point in this in this match conversation now where I have to bring up the potential worst case scenario for the evening. If if Triple J wants me to bring it up, I'll bring it up. Bianca Blair. It's it, it might be painful to talk about. I'll bring it up because I'm tough and I'm I don't I'm I, I'm not scared. But Triple J, are you okay with this? I don't know if you know where I'm going. Well, let, let me hear it. I don't know what where you're going. Well, we're saying who might make a surprise appearance? Who might come out and what if Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins return this evening of the Royal Rumble and ruin all of our lives? I don't. What's wrong with Becky Lynch? Year? Yeah, I don't. She's married to Seth Rollins. That's, that's what's wrong just, with that's, her. That's 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 and what he calls it. Collateral no, they're, they're, they're not married, are they? <laughs> no, they're no. not married. Okay. Well, maybe. I, Who knows? I, I wouldn't. I would feel scared for her, but uh, I, yeah, I don't. I don't have the same disdain for her as I do for yeah. Seth Rollins. I don't know why. Like, is it safe to wrestle that that soon after you know having a child? I don't oh, think we've Hollywood seen it done before for a Hollywood reason. Calsonis, Hollywood Calsonis is starring in a in a movie where you play a doctor coming up uh, with George Clooney and uh, Ryan Phillippe. So let us know. What, is it okay for Becky Lynch to come back yet? I mean, I've seen her acting. She's terrible. I hope she doesn't come back. Uh, I'm not a big fan. So uh, I, I, uh, I mean, called... I guess it's, it's been enough time already, right? I think that's what Clooney was telling me. So uh, I think she's safe. 
I mean, a man called. She could yeah. be postpartum. We don't know this. We don't know her personal a, a, situation right a now. A man called Wired. How how soon after giving birth did uh, the lovely Brianna Bella get back in the ring? Uh, she still <laughs> hasn't done my laundry in a year. So. <laughs> that's, that's your job. <laughs> that makes you feel. I mean. That hasn't done anything. You're, you're not really helping the conversation. Here. <laughs> There's no better time to listen to a podcast or train for the rumble. I, I, I'm just very. Laundry. I'm disappointed with Long Island Ice T here having some disdain for Becky Lynch just because she's associated with Seth Rollins. You know, like have I have no problem with you, guilty by even though I have this huge. Yeah, but I have no problem with Long Island, even though I have a huge beef with his wife. Like this doesn't make any sense. This, th- th- this is different. You. She's she's with Seth Rollins, <laughs> the worst, the, the worst human being on earth. Maybe he was maybe he was just a donor. And him she, and his whole I, family I don't know. and anyone related to him are are bad. They're yeah, that's bad. true. And I, <laughs> Triple I, J. I, 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 I cast all of my judgment on them, and I and that includes Becky Lynch now. Well, Away we know you, we know you have a problem with the Irish already. You've made it clear, so it's true. Got a long-standing history that we can't get into, but we've talked a lot about this Royal Rumble. Did we miss anything, Triple J, in terms of what could happen, what to expect, anything else? If we did, just bring it up in Falls Count anywhere. (laughs) We'll do that coming up a little bit later then. All right, Brainiacs, here we go. I think that's my cue to take it to the next round of promos. Uh, And I believe we might even have some commercials for you, but they're going to be really informative, so that's going to be good. And it's just going to be another action-packed segment coming up right here and we'll be back on the other side to talk about maybe one of the championship matches right here on the 2021 brain buster radio royal rumble hi i'm brian solorzano host of the weekly this is the xfl show and here's my co-host and owner of pretty easy podcast alan tzinski Thanks, Bryant. You're a legend. I'm so happy to be here on BBR via this paid advertisement. It's such a great day, man. I'm so excited. I'm happy to give my money to the Brain Busters for their little Royal Rumble since, you know, my guy Long Allen's going to win it all. And, and, you know, it's cool to see them, but it's awesome to be here and and watching Alan kick the shit out of all those bozos, but also to be on a public access level podcast for once, it feels like I'm giving back. <laughs> well, you know, speaking of access, this is the XFL show gets you a closer look into the return of the XFL the third time. And, and, and you know, the XFL is better than any other football show out there today because it's the original official podcast of the league. That's right, Brian. And the show drops every week. That's Every single week, no matter what, every week you're getting This is the XFL Show, which is just so reliable and so comforting. Unlike Brain Buster Radio, you know, but whatever. Every Friday, 7 a.m. Eastern, you're getting This is the XFL Show. So everyone knows how and where they can find it, and they're always going to find it. That's such a great feeling, I think. Yeah, you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts or or Spotify, you know, the podcast platforms that matter, and, and also the ones that Brain Buster Raider is, is on. Those, you know, regular yeah, little ones. Yeah, you can also subscribe. Yeah, whatever. You can also subscribe on YouTube channel to watch, on their YouTube channel to watch. Let's conduct good Chris analysis every single week, unlike BBR. Man, I, I love football. I, I love football, I love wrestling, I love podcasting. What a great way for us to celebrate all three things via this paid advertisement and it didn't cost us really that much at all since the Marburgers are cheap bastards and you know at the end of it I still have enough left over to buy some GameStop stock and get new equipment equipment for pretty easy podcast to make all our shows sound great it's it's really cool what a great feeling right now Brian isn't this great yeah I wonder how much BBR stock goes for these days Anyway, Alan, uh, this is yeah, so great yeah, because know. studio quality equipment and, and and the most organized and friendly producers, Pretty Easy Podcast really makes podcasting uh, pretty easy. Well, let me get serious here for a minute, Brian, because I couldn't have said it any better myself. And by the way, also, who do you think is going to win that Royal Rumble? Because that's what's going on here on Brain Buster Radio. Now. It's their big Royal Rumble show, so I guess we should give our two cents. Oh, I got to go with my guy. The guy, 
the man, a man called Wired. He's a dad now. I don't know if you know this. And, and he does yeah. all the best gimmicks on the show. Like what? Uh, yeah, but better. It's pretty good. Yeah, you're right. It, it, his is a little bit better than yours, but that's not bad. Uh, I guess I guess his Doink the Clown's also pretty good. People like that, too. Oh, yeah. It's like... <laughs> yeah, but better. Yeah, a lot better. Well, I'm picking Long Island Ice Tea, I think, for this Royal Rumble. But either way, it should be a fun show the rest of the way here. I know they desperately needed these funds from this paid advertisement just to get the show up and running. So courtesy of Pretty Easy Podcasts, I guess we're getting another Brain Buster Radio Royal Rumble. So I guess if you're really a fan of this annual show, you got to thank the people at Pretty Easy Podcasts, me, myself, most importantly, for helping this show get along via this paid advertisement. And this is the XFL show. Check it out. A much better podcast with better looking and sounding hosts. That's for damn sure. And it's every single week. Every single week, no matter what, even if a show has to be put together at two in the morning. So check it out along with all of all the great Pretty Easy Podcast podcasts at www.prettyeasypodcast.com. Head over there. Maybe start your own show. Maybe you want to do a wrestling podcast that'll, you know, be a competitor of Brain Buster Radio, Brian. Oh, great. Just what the world needs. A better, more competent weekly wrestling podcast. I'm here for it. And if anyone can do it, it's us here at Pretty Easy Podcast. But enjoy the rest of Brain Buster Radio and enjoy this Brain Buster Radio Royal Rumble Edition. This ad is officially over, I guess, Bryant, but... I'm looking at my clock here. I paid for a few more seconds. You got anything left to add? Well, well just, you know, hopefully next year's Rumble episode isn't exclusively on Mob Marburger Cock or some shit. It probably will be. Sellouts. Come back to the Rumble. The Kel's been busy making money, making moves, and taking over the entertainment world. But after a year like 2020, the Kel knew it was time to return. The Rumble begins, the Rumble will end with the Kel as the victor. The Kel plans to eliminate Vin Man. Wild Bill, and even you, Calvin. But there is one man, and the Kel means one man. He's looking forward to eliminating, and that is you, Jesse Turk. The Kel plans to throw you over the top rope, look you dead in your eyes, and remind you why the Kel is the most electrifying man in Brain Buster history. If you smell what the cow is cooking. Baby, I can warm you with this love of mine. I'm no angel. Oh, yeah, it's Minnie Horowitz here. And if you think your pansy ass is going to come up in this Royal Rumble and kick my beautiful ass, you're sadly mistaken, sucker. Because I'm going to come up in that Royal Rumble. I'm going to beat Hobo Ken. I'm going to beat Big Al. I'm going to lay them all down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, when I give you that old 
good old one-two slammer. You're gonna be in a world of pain. You're gonna need a medic. But there won't even be a medic around. Cause there'll be too busy COVID testing, you hear? That's right. There's no medic around. So, when I see Hobo Ken in that ring, I'm gonna take him down. And I'm gonna be the last one standing here in this Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah. Susan, the CPA here, am ready to win this year's Royal Rumble. Sandy, the CPA and I may have convinced you all that we're retiring, but we're not. We've been e-filing, deducting, reconciling, and auditing. Auditing all you brain busters right over the top of the rope. All assets, fixed and current, will be deleted, and on Sunday at the Rumble, all of your accrued expenses will be piled up, leaving you all insolvent and worthless. Actually, none of you should even enter the ring on Sunday because when you lose to me, you will have a negative ROI. No more tennis, Sandy. Keep working. And after I win the Royal Rumble, you will be discarded and I'm going to go play Mahjong with my bitches and cheaters. This Sunday is the Royal Rumble. And there are 29 wrestlers out there looking to win. Looking to be the last one standing. Looking to headline WrestleMania. Me? I'm not looking to win. I'm looking to make history. You see what separates me from the 29 other competitors out there is that they're wrestlers. They're great wrestlers. And they're focused on wrestling. They're wrestling people. That's all well and good, but they're not like me seeing the big picture. They're not smart enough. They can't comprehend what's actually happening here. Everybody this week are cutting their promos, telling you how they're going to be the winner of the Royal Rumble. They just don't get it because they're wrestling people. I'm not even sure if I like wrestling. I'm just using wrestling as a platform to accomplish what needs done in this world. I could be working in international trade or in Hollywood, but I just happen to be in wrestling because I'm better at wrestling than everybody else, and I can use it as a platform to make history. While well, everyone is focused on how many stars their match gets or what people are saying about them on Reddit, I'll be focused on making history this Sunday at the Royal Rumble. Well, LSU football sucked. The Saints choked again and held Trump's out of office. There ain't much to be happy about around here these days, but you know one thing? I'm not going to let it stop me because I live by a simple motto, and that motto is, if you don't fight like hell, there won't be a rumble left to fight for, and that's not a world that I can live in. So I'm going to take all this hate, all this anger that's bubbling up inside of me, and it is going to spew out all over 29 other men in the Royal Rumble match. Of course, nothing's going to stop me. I will be the last man standing if it's the last thing I do. I will fight like hell. And yes, it is because that wise man once told me to. That's all I've got to say. The Royal Rumble's mine. All you other sissies, might as well not try. You bunch of snowflakes, it's over for you. And I'm going to take the whole damn thing. Now, you might notice I haven't told you my name this entire time. That's for a damn good reason. My name doesn't matter because all you need to know is what you can call me. And you can call me pissed off. Twenty-one, back. You heard from some of the competitors, and some of our gracious uh, sponsors this yeah. year helping us. Thank you, XFL show. show. Appreciate that. That was a- pretty easy. Podcast.com. Triple J. 
What are you learning so far in this episode, this 2020 Royal Rumble? Something that you haven't learned in previous Royal Rumbles? Well, uh, I'm learning a lot. I guess Vin Man has just been putting on a charade for the past <laughs> well, 34 years of his life. See, that's perfect. That's perfect. Vin Man talking <laughs> like that. Wrestling people. I didn't have to do wrestling. He sounds a lot like Bill Goldberg to me talking like that. <laughs> a guy who obviously is just doing this for a paycheck and to have a platform. Because he does not belong in the ring with Drew McIntyre. Well, yeah, you obviously know where we're going next. But, you know, I was thinking about this during the break. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Every world or universal title match Goldberg has had since he's been back, he's won. Correct? Beat Kevin Owens. Uh, you know, he beat, him. beat uh, Bray Strowman. Wyatt. I mean, he's also lost. Oh, you're talking you about when, when he's challenger. Well, you're yeah. saying when he's challenged for the yeah, title. when he's challenging and the title is on the line. He's he's won them all. Yeah, he's he's like the the. I, the I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not Sasha Banks. I I don't want to say it, but I I'm just stating some facts. I it's it. This might be actually the biggest. He's the favorite in this match, right, Vin Man? Uh, he is Goldberg? not, but it's. Uh, he he is not. I I've been seeing uh, Drew McIntyre at around a minus two hundred favorite. Oh, uh, Goldberg favorite. at around the the plus one fifty ish mark. So it's it's not you know it's not it's not a toss up, but it's not a it's not a landslide either. What is Sheamus going to have to gift Drew McIntyre before the match for him to hold on to that title belt? Ooh. I mean, you gave him a sword last <laughs> yeah. time, right? Gave him a sword. What else could you give him? More sword. <laughs> what do you think uh, that uh, that trainer's been telling Drew in, in the lead up? You know, going through COVID, going through COVID, and, and just getting ready for for Goldberg. What do you think he's telling him? <laughs> Drew, you beat Brock Lesnar, but you're facing a different kind of monster. Drew, you got to get ready for this one a different way. You need to go out to the sea, Drew. You need to sing some shanty tales. Drew, you need to go out there. You need to drown yourself because that's what's being in the ring with Goldberg's <laughs> like. You're drowning in spears and jackhammers, lad. Go out there and be ready. So that's probably what he's telling us. Uh, swimming against he's... the current. It, 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 it all depends on what Goldberg we're getting. Are we getting the, the, the Goldberg that, that beat uh, uh, Brock Lesnar in a minute, 10 seconds? Or are we getting the, the Goldberg that was basically sweating his ass off inside of Saudi Arabia. Like, which Goldberg are we getting? Are we getting the Goldberg from last year's WrestleMania? I think we know hang? which Goldberg we're getting. And I don't think kicker. we do. I know, I know, know which Goldberg we're getting. Ass kicker Goldberg. He's not out. Goldberg is not out there, you know, to collect stars and, uh, you know, <laughs> be talked highly about on the board or anything <laughs> yeah. like that. He's out there to get the job done as quick as possible so he could take that belt home for his son. The Tropicana Dome is the Tropicana Dome is an old building. You know, those doors are not aluminum. They're solid steel. Like the, the, he's got to be careful. This is a lot for him to handle. Tropicana field can get a little humid. I've heard as well. It's, it's hot down there right now. Uh, I don't know if I trust it. There are a lot of elements here well, that Goldberg might Go be ready mentally, but physically, well, it, it might not be up to, to He's had experience fighting in big ass domes. I mean, you know, he had that huge victory in the Georgia Dome. You know, it, it was probably a thousand degrees in there uh, that night. So I, I, I don't think that the atmosphere, in fact, I would say the atmosphere favors Goldberg. That was also Goldberg. 20 years ago. He still yeah. got it. The atmosphere favors Goldberg in this match. I'm not. I'm not necessarily picking him to win, but I'm saying the atmosphere favors Goldberg. He's he's got more big fight experience, more big dome experience. If, if anybody could give Goldberg a five star match, though, besides Brock Lesnar, it's Drew McIntyre. I bold prediction: whoever wins this match at the end of it, they're going to rename it from from the from the board to the Gold Board. Because Goldberg is going to be talked about in the Observer PWI as having one of the greatest Wrestle or Royal Rumble Championship matches they've ever seen. Moose, before you take another swig of your White Claw, just what do you think this match is going to be longer than five minutes, uh, including entrances? Uh, you know, I, I, Goldberg can still go, man. He he, he used he, he almost has more gas in the tank now. Maybe he's. <laughs> Gonna have a dusted. I'm, I'm uh, limited. Mode. 
unlimited, man. He's, he's got a Tesla engine now. He's upgraded. I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't headbutt the Tropicana field walls, though, because they definitely he does, does that for the us. Doors are solid chips. steel. He does that paint for chips. us. Asbestos in the walls, I'm sure. Lead paint. Dome. Uh, okay, so we're talking big about big-ass domes, but never a dirty-ass dome. We're talking big-ass domes and dirty-ass domes. I'm just going to go out here and give my prediction now because I'm going to stand with my bald brother and his big-ass dome and go with Bill Goldberg over the more hirsute Drew McIntyre. You're not giving yourself enough credit, Moose. Look at that head of hair, bro. You're you're cool, man. You're good. Okay, whoops. Oh. My bad. <laughs> uh, look. Storms I think it was mentioned cannon. earlier by MVP. It's January wrestling. Goldberg seems to thrive in January wrestling. He's won a title before. I, I, I think Drew McIntyre is a better athlete in February. Unfortunately, this match takes place on the last day of January, and that's Goldberg's time. Yeah, I mean, I, I like where you guys are, are going. I don't know if I can pull the trigger on it or not. Uh, Goldberg, he just gives know. you... He gives you, you know, the most in the least. Again, he's not he's not going to pay by the hour. He's out here to, to, to do a job. He doesn't care. Uh, you know, I'm surprised if you can do it in 20 days. seconds, Triple J. I don't you have a kid in 20 seconds. I, I'm, really I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep the streak going. I'm going to Goldberg. Oh. <laughs> he's, I, look at the data. <laughs> I mean, or data. Whatever you call it. Say however you say that word. But Drew is really, if it weren't for a, one loss to Randy Orton in a hell in a cell, it's a historic run as WWE champion with just a, a, a How do a you blip. say that? How do you a blip. blip? You lost a match to Randy Orton in a hell in a cell. Sit there, down. There's, there's not no a blip. shame in that either. It, there's it, no, there's no shame in it, but it's not a blip. You don't just be like, oop, do over. I, I won it next time. No, that's not how it works. But... Other than that, all of his imagine 20, imagine the streak twenty twenty one have been was one hundred and eighty seven and zero with a blip, and all, he lost the Ultimo Dragon somewhere in the middle there, <laughs> like, and there's like oh it's just a blip on a house Sorry. show. My bad. Get the fuck out of here. Sit down. Norman Smiley definitely pinned his ass. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you think he went into business for himself on a house show in Tupelo? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Gold, he was ruffling a lot of feathers back then, Goldberg. I mean, he didn't pay any dues, and he's just climbing up the ladder, stealing people's spots. He definitely, uh, people we'll were always going to business against on. him. <laughs> William Riggle like almost kicked his ass, let's be real, though, too. Yeah, it's, it's very <laughs> similar to what's going on with Darby Allin in, in, in AEW. Stop talking about that. A lot of people are saying he's the Goldberg. Of the next generation, but <laughs> I have not heard anybody <laughs> say that. What? <laughs> Nobody's event. saying that. At Revolution. <laughs> uh, uh, Goldberg. See, but Goldberg, you're not talking about this technically. What what moves do the men use? A spear and a claymore. The spear running headfirst into a claymore is not a good strategy. We know Goldberg's not great at strategy. I have Drew McIntyre. I'm breaking I, the chain here because uh, he's I, having a great year. One little blip, and it is just oh God, it's a, it's you. a it's a matchup nightmare for Goldberg. I I, 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 I will say this. You know, I I think I think this is a very close match. I, I really do. Uh, but I am gonna side with Drew McIntyre because he's got the he's got a good trainer. That, that's the yeah. thing. He, yeah, he's been training hard. He's been training properly. Look, whenever Brock Lesnar defeated Goldberg at WrestleMania in you know maybe the greatest match of all time, yep. Brock Lesnar could have lost that match if it wasn't for Paul Heyman pointing Paul Heyman. out the spear, telling yeah. him that you know, the spear was, com was coming. Uh, I'm not saying that this, that gentleman's going to be at ringside, but you know he's got to have given uh, Drew McIntyre the plan. Uh, in the proper training in order to beat Goldberg. It's going to be a Drew! hell of a battle, though. Drew, get on me boat, Nick. We're going out to sea, and we're going to train like they do in Fiji. You're swimming with the sharks, Drew. You got to be ready for the spear. Be ready for the sharks, Drew. Now, Hollywood Calsonis, I know you don't really bump into either one of these men too much in Hollywood because their, their careers didn't really last too long. Uh, but... Who's who, who's going to get the, that star on the Walk of Fame after this match? Because it's got to be Goldberg. 
with the, like a TV, right? Or antennas. Well, I mean, I think he's the only one that's done a movie, but uh, I'm going to tell you what Edward Norton told me on the set of Motherless Brooklyn. Never bet against Hollywood. So even though I want Drew McIntyre to beat this bum, I'm going with Goldberg. Drew McIntyre did like a TV show or something, didn't he? Like, uh, I, think he did. I don't know. He was in a band. Yes, New Orleans. Does that count? Yeah. No. Uh, you know, so we also, got four, four and two. Goldberg, Goldberg played an evil Santa Claus too. Like he's legit. He's a great actor. Um, oh, so hopefully he played he, a rapist on SVU. Platform. He did. I mean, he was in the. He was arrested in the SVU office. They arrest rapists. I don't know what more you can say. Oh my God. <laughs> Definitely rooting for Drew McIntyre now. Even if Goldberg plans on handing that belt to his son. Who's no longer probably, he's probably a snot-nosed teenager nobody wants to see on TV now. So hmm. I don't think they're going to bring him on TV this time if he beats Drew McIntyre. Although My it would be great Goldberg. if his son. <laughs> it would be great if Sunberg was in one corner and the crazy old Scotsman was in the corner of Drew McIntyre. <laughs> and they, they went at it. But that's not happening. It's a one-on-one encounter. And. The Miz lurking though, Triple J. Any chance we see a Money in the Bank cash in? Uh, what? Oh, what? I can't take him. <laughs> I, I can't. What's your problem with Mike Mizanin? Everything. I know. Correct. And that takes us out of the Universal Championship realm and into the realm of promos. <laughs> And we're going to uh, also have a very special episode of one of your favorite WWE specials and exclusive. The Marburgers scored us thanks to that generous donation we got from some of our sponsors. So big time get coming up here on Brain Buster Radio. A very special interview. Promos. And on the back end of that, the men's Royal Rumble match, I believe, Triple J is coming up soon. Yes, it is. Oh, man. It's heating up, and it's almost that time. Brainiacs, tweet it, read it, tat it, shout it, be all about it at the Brain Busters. All Royal Rumble weekend. We'll see you on the other side. This is Brain Buster Radio. You're listening and watching the 2021 Royal Rumble. Welcome to Broken Skull Sessions Royal Rumble Edition, brought to you by Marburger Ale, next great beer from the El Segundo Brewing Company. I am your host, Steve Allison. Today's guest joins us via Google Meet, and he is the most illustrious brain buster of them all. Jump in, Jacob J. Great to see you, man. Thanks for having me on the show, Stone Cold. Now, Triple J, I understand you were raised around farms. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, more or less. Well, this year's ranch, and I'll be goddamned if I can't remember what makes them any different. H- how many challenges are in each obstacle course at a farm? Uh, obstacle course? Yeah, you know, what kind of gut-busting competitions or, or uh, intricate challenges can we expect on a farm as opposed to a ranch? Yeah, well, I mean, we didn't really have uh, courses or anything like that, but, I mean, it was a great childhood. Now, I don't give a good goddamn whether you grew up on a farm or a ranch when it comes to Sunday. What I care about as a fan of the sport of professional wrestling is whether or not you're going in that 20 by 20 square circle, throw 29 other wrestlers, superstars, some bitches, whatever you want to call them, over the top rope. And if you'll be having a beer with my retired ass in said ring immediately after said match. Well... Hell yeah, Steve. (laughs) That's what I'm talking about, you son of a bitch. Now, before I let you go, I want to play a little straight up Steve Austin word association with you. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, Triple J, let's go. Bring it. Brandon Cutler. Dungeons and Dragons. Come on, Brandon. Let's go. Pretty Peter Avalon. Librarian. Faster. Faster. Danny Limelight. Let's go. Rush. And finally, Griff Griff Garrison. This is it. Last shot. Future star. All right, Triple J. Yeah, that was a bang-up job, man. Great job. I'm really proud of you. Uh, so I just want to thank you. I, I don't know what that exercise proved, except you're one damn tough SOB. So I want to wish you good luck this Sunday, and I'm going to catch your ass down the road. Radio's 
known throughout the world as a premier pro wrestling podcast featuring some of the most infamous matches known to man and womankind. But all the diehards know that BBR cooks up nothing better than old-fashioned Royal Rumbles. For over 15 years, the BBR Royal Rumble has gone from pro wrestling's best-kept secret to more famous than Carolina Barbecue. Holy pro graps, Batman. These guys are a festival of fun. And I'm one of them. The piece of resistance. Long Allen Ice Tea. Why? Not only am I the reigning, defending, mayor of Rumble Town, USA, but my moves are so good, experts have called them out of bounds, sophista funked up, and straight up cuckoo banana berries. Now I love nothing more than riding around the country and meeting the real folks who keep the Rumble hype alive. All year long I masked up, hit the road in my 79 Firebird, and I reached out to some of the baddest rumblers I know to get some rumble strategy before I attempt my repeat. Now I'm no culinary gangster, but ODB is. She runs ODB Super Duper Weenie Wagon out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. She gave me some tips, and man, I tell you between her advice and what I learned at Abdullah the Butcher's house of fried chicken and Chinese food in Atlanta, I got the amalgamator ready. What's that, you ask? It's a move so powerful, it's got that rub, that sauce, some kick, and of course, a touch of the secret sauce that would make Jordan and Bugs Bunny jealous. So get ready, America, because after Sunday, I'll be rolling up to your town for some Triple R. I'm Long Island Ice T, and this is going to be a Royal Rumble repeat. The Royal Rumble, my favorite time of the year. This match makes the roots for the WrestleMania main event. You know, there's a lot of weird things going on right now. You got to practice social distancing, but how are you going to do that with 29 other superstars? 29 other superstars. 29 other dreams that I got to crush. And the other 29, we're talking from jobbers, jabronis, to mid-carters, to number one contenders. We got it all. You can be in a tag team match earlier in the card, and then your tag team partner can be there blocking your title shot. But either friend or foe, no matter who it is, I'm tossing all 29 over the rope to get my shot at WrestleMania. This is the outlaw Jesse Lee, a.k.a. Texas Turk, a.k.a. the quintessence of man, bitch. And I'm coming to you from Reno, Nevada to let all you jabronis know that the hiatus is over. The five-year run of easy Royal Rumbles is over. That's right. I'm tail-dragging my beautiful behind all the way to St. Petersburg. And guess what? Over the past five years, while Vin Man and the Kel have been reliving their college days, sucking dick and snorting coke, I've been training all over the world. And while Triple J and Dan the Hitman Cini have gotten used to Long Island Ice Tea, I've been smashing straight Turk Killer. So this Sunday in Florida, I'm gonna chuck you hollow lightweights aside like pistachio shells and crawl like a king snake out of the swamp with a victory. This is a new year for me, and a lot has happened. I have a new son-in-law. I have another daughter who is pregnant. I got my COVID-19 vaccination. I'm retired. And I'm going to win the 2021 Royal Rumble. And I'm going to tell you about it with certainty and clarity. I'm going to use my Yeti microphone so everybody will hear me with clarity to hear my prediction that you will lose the Rumble. I'm Sandor the CPA, also known as Doorman. Since I retired on October 15th, my new Royal Rumble nickname is Doorman because my specialty is closing doors instead of closing the books as I did when I was a CPA. So Sandy the CPA is gone. 
here's a tip. Watch out for Susie, the CPA. My last tax season ended on October 15th, and I'm in semi-retirement now. But before I retire, I have one last door to close, the big door, the Royal Rumble. And I'm going to close it in your face. But first, I need to prioritize my closing plan on my task list using Microsoft To Do, Microsoft Planner, and then share it on OneNote with Long Allen Ice T, the OneNote King of Pittsburgh. First things first, Vinman. Instead of defeating you with my famous pile driver move, I have a plan to defeat you without wrestling or even lifting a finger. I'm going to turn you into the IRS and you're going to go to jail for a few years. And as a bonus, Donald Trump will be your cellmate. And Mel Calzones, I'm flying out to L.A. I'm taking an inventory of your house and your bank accounts. Then I'm going to reconcile your assets to QuickBooks Online. Then I'm going to approve the reconciliation and transfer all your money to my offshore account located in Panama. And then I'm going to blackmail your ass so you lose to me in the ring. And then next, my son-in-law, my favorite, Long Allen Ice Tea. I gave you the blessing to marry my daughter, but I did not authorize you to watch hundreds of hours of Steelers football and Monday Night Raw with my wife, who loves you so much, but not for your wrestling skills, but loves you because you're a nice Jewish yinza that married my daughter. Let me give you a tip, Alan. Spend more time practicing your wrestling skills if you want to win, and spend less time looking at OneNote. Your defeat is not written on the wall. It's saved on a remote OneNote Microsoft Azure saver in Redmond, Washington. Guess what? And it's all going to cost you this Sunday. Not only will you lose the rumble, but because I love you, and I don't want my son-in-law to feel any pain, you're going to drop like a stone in 15 seconds. And instead of tying you to the ropes, I will tie you up with that 100-foot Ethernet cable that you liked so much in my office, so then you can watch me win. The doorman can't wait to get off those tennis courts and get back into the ring and take that 2021 Rumble title that rightfully belongs to me. I don't need smoke and mirrors to win from you guys. I just need one thing. Enter the ring, leave a window open, for when I defeat your ass, you can escape from the window. See you in the ring, my friends. Well, here we are. The 2021 Buster Radio Royal Rumble. Never thought I'd return to this place. But lo and behold, I have returned. And I didn't come alone. I came with the steel chair, the kendo stick, you name it. I've got it right now. And I am ready to wreck shop and establish dominance on all 29 other competitors in this battle. The famous CD is here, and he's here to show the world that he is the guy when it comes to pro wrestling. And BBR, consider this the Cajun Strong Style Invasion. And I'm here to make a statement. I'm here to collect what was rightfully mine a couple years ago. That's why I wasn't here last year. But I am officially back into the fold, back into the saddle. And the BBR Royal Rumble is going to be won by yours truly. One has been already a bust ass year, and now it's about to get kicked up even further with the Royal Rumble, and even with COVID nineteen wired, 
The Royal Rumble will go on. I'm ready to rumbo. Whoa. Are you ready? Are you re- are you ready to rumbo? I'm ready Mustafa? to rumbo. I've I've done been, I've been ready to rumble Long Island iced tea. Uh, it's gonna be great to just see so much humanity in one place together uh, <laughs> after so long. I, I really this really this that. that rumble, two Royal Rumble matches in one night. That's like the biggest series of mass gatherings since all this began. You know, that's very good point. Uh, Hollywood Calsonas, do you have your W twos in line? Because I know you're technically not an employed. You got to have 1099s now. I know there was some unemployment probably when the movie industry shut down for a while. Look, uh, you know, right, I know you don't again. understand, but I have an assistant to do all that. Jennifer, get that. Uh, she can't even get you water, bro. The hell? Get that a W2W, whatever the fuck that's called. W40. I mean, not only do we have to worry about 29 other individuals in the Rumble, we have to worry about the entire IRS coming after us now. <laughs> I mean, that's that's no different than any other year. The IRS is yeah. always at every Rumble. Vin Man. Always lurking. Oh, oh my goodness. Always you know, just you know, auditing everybody's purse. Uh, yeah. Well, in Florida, there, there's less taxes, so uh, you know maybe maybe that's going to help things out. I, I don't know, uh, but yeah, Long Island's right. You always got to stay one step ahead of the IRS, regardless of what year it is. Um, but this year, in the Royal Rumble, that that's really where you got to start watching your back uh, this Sunday, because it is it is <laughs> three of us be turned something. around. <laughs> You should. You should. <laughs> I might be right behind you. And <laughs> this is going to be crazy. This Royal Rumble, I cannot wait for this Sunday. Oh, man. This is this is going to be so unpredictable. SmackDown ends with like 20 guys in the ring in a match, and I don't know what the hell just happened. And, and the Rumble is going to be 30 guy Triple J, and it's going to be two brands or three. I don't know if NXT people will be there. I don't know if Legends will be there. I don't know what the hell's going to happen. It's COVID. It's a pandemic. It's also a chance to sit at the head of the table. I mean, think about that opportunity to be in the ring with Roman Reigns if you win. That's what's on the line here. It's a big one, of course. We're talking about the Men's Royal Rumble. Now, for my calculations here, we have 17 announced, but if you saw the end of SmackDown, I think it's going to be 18 now. I, th- I think we're up to 21, actually, Triple J. Okay, may- maybe I just got to refresh my page here. Oh, wait, is Dominic give him 10 minutes. Mysterio. Give him 10 minutes. Is Dominic uh, Mysterio announced? He is. He's, on, yeah. on my list, no. Well, uh, the he, list he, I'm looking at uh, says that... He'd be going to Rumble. King oh, Corbin, uh, the Mysterio clan, and Braun Strowman all all announced that, today. Now has, she, has CBS confirmed well? that? <laughs> you have to ask Moose the Mark about that. <laughs> Mute the uh, Mark is is like Mute the Mark. <laughs> uh, I, I can confirm. <laughs> he's getting, he's getting I, the I'm getting on the line. Sorry, I, okay. I was on the line. It was the I secure encrypted wire. I just want to know if Omos is going to be in the Rumble because that, that's Omos, going to change Almos, everything. Almos, did wait? Did Almos uh, like pop a zit and get a scar? What oh, was he, it was today? that was big. Did that happen on Raw? Well, everything's nope. bigger on the man. Let's huh? just be real. Like a small zit on him is really big. Yeah, I, that's I true. Guess. Maybe I think it's just the zit, but it was like a clear thing he had. Yeah, it looked like, it he, had like, like uh, he had a gash on his head or something. I yeah. don't know. The, I, 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 I don't you think, think AJ struck him? Is the rumble? <laughs> yeah, you big think, bastard! I don't think AJ. <laughs> I was being AJ sarcastic. Can... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think AJ can hit the top of that man's forehead with a running start. Let's just be real, though. Too. Uh, I, you know, of the people that are announced, I have yeah, true. Uh, of the people that are announced, uh, it's so hard to pick a winner only because I don't see any of them winning. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> right. <laughs> That's great. The only you're gonna, one that you're has gonna tell me, one. Randy Orton, Edge, AJ Styles, he's got a burnt fucking Daniel face. Daniel Bryan, the CHO, Cesario, Cesaro, come on, Nakamura, Dolph Ziggler. I mean, if this is about who throws the best trooper kick, how don't you see Dolph Ziggler? Cesaro is more confused what? than our truth, and that's not a rib. Why? I kind of <laughs> see where you're getting with this. Well, I mean, like. 
I could take it one step further. Like you, you, you don't see anyone who can win the Royal Rumble. What if no one wins the Royal Rumble for the first I time? Mean, we've had one person win the Rumble. We've had two people win the Rumble. We've had four way main events at WrestleMania somehow. What if no one wins the Royal Rumble? How how this year? how would nobody win? It's, it's moot. Just, it's declared moot, and it goes to the someone Supreme takes Court. away the top rope. The time limit has been reached. The time limit has <laughs> yeah. been reached. The results been certified. The bell was the bell was struck. What if they and... had to clear the ring because somebody tested positive? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's voided. I I it feel is. confident in saying, if as long as Vince right. McMahon's still alive, this match it, will not stop. It's I like don't, I don't what, care what happens. What did they count the game that was at Disco Demolition Night as? You know what I'm talking about? Like I, I think the home team had to forfeit, right? Was it a forfeit? Was it? Was it not? Uh, I don't know. It wasn't it was a draw. Good. Yeah. You know, I think if you're talking about the match ending with no one winning, I the only way I see that happening is if the, there's some sort of invisible hand <laughs> pulling the strings behind. behind the <laughs> well, there could the be. Can... Well, prospect <laughs> from the '90s finally making a return, right? Is there a Maybe better chance the for this match to have an invisible hand involved or a flamethrower involved? Oh, I would love to see someone get set on fire because I've gotten a taste for. It's like they say if you get a taste for human flesh, then that's so all you're, you want so, to eat. Wait, hold I've on. I've seen so a what man burned at, alive, and that's all I want to see now. Long Island. So what I'm getting, what I'm gathering from what you're saying is, you want to see somebody burn it down. No, no, <laughs> shut up. No, I want to see someone get set aflame. That's a different thing. Would, would you, you rather see, see someone? We'd rather see someone with a strong cult of personality. Oh, oh that's no. not three years happen. ago. That's not going to happen. Four years ago. Done with cults. Not in an empty arena. No, no. Hey, they I said want, the, they saved the same oh, thing about man. Conor McGregor, Triple J. Triple J, where would is. your smile go <laughs> if he showed up t- this weekend? It's not happening. Like, it, it, it's an empty arena. <laughs> you can't sell tickets. The show is the going thing- on, man. They gotta sell tickets to to Tampa. For what? And what better way to get somebody would, who hasn't would, wrestled in seven years? It's WrestleMania. Although they I gave away Daniel see. Bryan versus AJ Styles on free TV, so maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. Uh, that was kind of. Anymore. That was kind of. Did you watch the match? I, it was kind of. Yes, I, I would love to see. I would love to see it end with a member of the Anoa'i family being <laughs> getting their hand raised with Rikishi. Roman Reigns. With Roman Reigns, you know, or Jimmy Uso maybe coming back from injury. That'd be nice to see. Um, I think Jimmy I was just, the one back. No, Jay's been the main eventer. What's wrong with you? Come on. Confused, but obviously. if we're talking invisible hands, like, the, Florida is way down there in the south, and it's not far mm-hmm. from Georgia, and, you know, then that's not that far from North Carolina. So... I don't know. Maybe at the end of it all, we'll see some sort of collection made at the end of this. <laughs> I mean, Jeff Hardy's from North Carolina, so I think we're covered there. But thank you for that thought. I, I was talking about no, I was talking about Cameron Grabs. Oh, that'd be good. But he's he. What's what's the uh, travel policy when you come back from the moon, baby? <laughs> they don't have COVID on the moon. Um, or do they? they no Seth Rollins. I've already knocked that down. You're bringing Moose alludes to CM Punk. I see nerds talking about that. Are you serious? I saw him. Oh see, yeah, it's all over the crypt. place. Moose, tell me about the. Oh, crypt. Let me do it. It's my. Over, I'm the Twitter guy. I'm the Twitter guy. Isn't that over oh. every Royal Rumble? Where that's true. Too. CM Punk. He said he had to. Ed was Edge was supposedly coming back for the last five Royal Rumbles. And he and he, and he did it for the last two. So yeah, they're yeah, that's right. true too. Even Man. CM Punk tweeted out, I am in quarantine for a job that I have to do this week. That could mean the the FS1 show. That might mean the FS1 show, though. That's on Saturday. He does do that. He wasn't announced. And I think you'd want to announce a name like that if you're going to try to pop that rating uh, (laughs) instead of a a Natalie Natalie Tamina match. But uh, either way. (laughs) Stakes. (laughs) <laughs> what has high stakes? Yeah. Stakes it's food. Got, it's meat. Got meat. Special meat. guest Sami Zayn. <laughs> I don't know. I'd love to see Sam Zayn win it. What a documentary he'd 
<laughs> if he that was so good when he was talking about how how how, he, how uh, Shinsuke needs his help. Now. Yes, <laughs> his best work in WWE has been with him. It's true. Yeah, the, the, artist the man speaks truths. I'm not gonna lie, the, 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 he speaks truth. Uh, Hollywood has their mark all over this match. Hollywood Calsonis. I don't know uh, what what friends you have here because I know you've you've mixed around with Kira Knightley in the past. I know that, uh, but what about wrestlers wise? Is anybody really popping out at you as somebody you've met and you feel like they have a good chance? Uh, I mean, if anyone's got the looks, it's definitely AJ Styles with that beautiful long hair he has. Oh, that's some luscious hair. So you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, that's the only one. You know, there's a reason why I call him Sun is because he shines like one. So that's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Is it, is it, man, do you think WWE would want to uh, maybe counter program with some NBA talent showing up in the Rumble, like Akeem Olajuwon or someone of that caliber? Alonzo Mourning, maybe. <laughs> I don't think. A, NBA yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, someone a little yeah. younger. Yeah, I think somebody a lot like younger. Larry Penny Johnson. Hardaway. <laughs> Penny Hardaway. He he's got work to do. Um, uh, he yeah he's working right now. Is that Howard? So. Is he? Memphis? Oh, yeah, Memphis. Penny's I thought it was Howard. Memphis. No, Memphis. Who's Come at on. Howard? Come on. I don't know. Uh, Finkel. Somebody is Finkel. at Howard. Howard Finkel. Howard Finkel. Thank you. Ooh. And, and you know, I was watching <laughs> Royal Rumble 1994 today. Great what one. a tremendous job Howard Finkel did at the end of that match, Moose the Mark. Qu- qu- that could have been a riot, that crowd not knowing who won. <laughs> The Royal Rumble and Howard Finkel single handedly prevented a riot and yeah. murders from happening. He had Jack a lot of his life was saved. He had a lot of explaining to do, especially, you know, the sound guy had everyone on edge playing one theme. No, no, no. Play the other. You know, there was a, a lot of tension, a lot of drama. He diffused the situation. Really he's like that that cop who who, you know, like calmly back diverted what could have been an ugly situation you know what yeah. this is just proof that eric bischoff never watched royal rumble 94 because he would have tried to bring <clears throat> howard finkel over to help calm the situations that he had with all that trash being thrown in the rings after so many live events maybe they may have, i mean maybe more importantly tried. they may have never you know been able to go back to rhode island or at least for 35 years <laughs> triple j triple j i I do want to bring this up. Again, I'm going to bring something up because I'm tough and I'm not scared, but I would hate this. Uh, someone's alluded to leaving pro wrestling or at least Japan recently uh, because he's all sad and butt hurt that he lost the match. Could the Switchblade slice into this match and represent Bullet Club? The only thing Ugh. I would like about that was that it would mean that Ghetto would be a part of the Royal Rumble. Lurking around the outside in track suits. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think so. Uh, I, I, I don't think it's going to happen. No. Well, I think uh, I think we can all agree. Let, I, I don't even have to look. I don't even have to look, Wired. I don't even have to look. We could all agree. We don't want Seth Rollins in this match. Give me some. I don't have to look. Uh-oh. You had to look. There you go. You had to look. You don't, you don't know the way. All right. So what else Wait, are we missing? The way in this match? or the way? Legends, Vin Man. Yeah. What legends can we expect? Oh my God! I I hope we get some. I'm not. Qu- it's hard to say with uh, with that COVID going on. What about uh, residents of Florida? Maybe. Well, maybe that's that, not, yeah. Uh, Brian Knobs probably hangs out at this arena all the time. Oh, so I would. Ex- are you I, kidding me? That man breathes COVID out of his vein. <laughs> like it's, it's him and the and the and them boys are probably just COVID uh, patient zeros. I, I fully expect Brian Knobs to be in this. No. Oh. What, what, what's the wrong with that? What legends Nasty. are they saying on the board are maybe available? I I, I don't know. Cause half of them are either like in the main event or in factions. What, what about or, just like agents already I don't know, that, I, that they might put in the Rumble? Yeah, I mean, dude. Like, think, Adam Pierce two, win it? Three Step years ago... In. Three years ago, we'd be speculating. Oh, I heard they make it Shelton Benjamin to be in the Rumble or MVP <laughs> or, uh, you know, Goldberg. Whoa, wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> <laughs> and now, I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's regulars. Now, I don't know. I don't know what legends there are. 
<laughs> They're all in the hurt business. <laughs> oh my! I, I, I don't. I, I, I'm not sure what my official pick is, but I hope Bobby Lashley wins this whole thing. Vin, Vin Man, he's he's not a legend yet, but what about Dabakato? Do you think he could do some damage? He's a here? legend, first of all. Oh, in, a legend in in terms of Raw Underground for mm-hmm. sure. Uh, I I don't know if he'll be in it. I think there's I think there's a chance for sure. Moose, they're playing up like Daniel. An auto zoom. They're, they're That's playing. Like an no, he, oh, I okay. think it, his camera's just hyped for the Royal Rumble. Uh, <laughs> Triple J. They're playing up Daniel Bryan's never won a Royal Rumble a whole lot. What's that mean? Uh, I, I don't know. That, a Royal Rumble. that was a, a, an empowered promo at the beginning of SmackDown. A lot of passion behind that. He doesn't have many. He doesn't have many chances left. Well, Triple you know? he's like done like three of those in the last three weeks too. By the way, just so you know, Triple J. Well, it was why still it was still in passion. Why, why? Why aren't you rooting for Daniel Bryan? He's like the ultimate dad wrestler now. Like it's all he's he dresses like a dad. He talks like a dad. He's talking about if, if that's dressing like my, a, dad. a dad. I'd kick my own ass. Let's just be real about that, okay? Daniel Bryan and. and Hollywood Calsonas can can back me up on this. Daniel Bryan is probably the sneakiest, weasiest oh my piece gosh. of shit. And don't forget, I never forgot how much he tried to ruin all of the hard earning wrestlers when he was just trying to get his independent buddies up no. the ladder when he was GM of SmackDown. Yes! yes! I don't forget about that. Yes! I don't forget. And since that day, Daniel Bryan has only ever looked out for him and anyone smaller than him. The independent alliance was always uh, a mirage, something that people made up. <laughs> Triple no, it's because you, you. Do you think look at the current just, roster? Uh, conspiracy theory Zane? before conspiracy he, theory. He's before not in before. power anymore. Do yeah, because you, you got the old folks fucking doing all the matches now, right? Like to Moose's point. Do you think Wired's just saying this to try to get on my good side before the Royal Rumble? Hey, I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> Who kisses shit. more ass? Hollywood comes to Triple J or a man called Wyatt to Vidman going Moose just the made, making fun of of rehashing shit and, and bringing up a bunch of old shit and Wyatt's bringing up an old crazy ass gimmick Vidman used to have. Moose the Mark, what do you think of Daniel Bryan's chances? Uh, I mean, you know, I don't know. I, I certainly uh, am not as positive as I, won, as I was one cold night in Pittsburgh. Uh, where the snow piled so ever so high on the ground, uh, but you know, I can't say he's not uh, you know at least a Final Four favorite. But you I, know. I, think that's, like, I think that's fair. And like a lightning rod to my brain, Moose just aw- aw- awoken something in me. Milk Halsonis here in Hollywood. What's up with Dave Batista? Can he come and win this thing? That's all I want to see in the world. Uh, no, man, he's too busy. They're starting to do that Guardians of the Galaxy nonsense, so you won't be seeing him anywhere near the Rumble. Now, are you? do you call it nonsense because you don't like the movies, or you missed out on the Groot role? On a role. I mean, I just don't want to, you know, I should have been the one saying Groot, not Vin Diesel, but, you know, <laughs> Fast and Furious. Can't beat that. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see Batista win it. Of all people, that's my number one. I want to see win it. But I could Again? go with Shinsuke. I could go with Daniel Bryan. I'd like to see Cesaro win it. Uh, but ultimately, it doesn't matter because they're probably going to want to face the big dog and he'll beat him, Triple J. Who do you want to Why would they with? want to face the big dog then? You weirdo. They get to choose. To share a ring with the head of the table. For the so higher, the higher purse. Higher purse. Why do you think More he wears the you. fucking... Why do you think he wears the gold glove? Why? Because everything the, the big dog touches, 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 turns to gold. Turns to gold. Is that what you're going for? Got it. <laughs> yeah. Come on. So including my face. He touched your face. I mean, if I mean, did you see that picture? He's right up. Me and him are friends now. I don't b- trust that. Triple J. Who do you want to see win this thing? Who deserves it? Um, it really the only answer is the big show. The Miz. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, if he's in the match, I'm picking him. But I don't know if he's in the match. That's that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's I mean, hard to pick somebody who isn't officially because you're you're betting your hands, you're betting everything on two things. That's like worse yeah. than betting on GameStop because you're betting that he's going to be in the Rumble and you're betting that he's going to win the Rumble. That's just uncalled for. Well, it's it's tricky, but I mean, if you went with Triple H a couple of years ago, you made out big. Well, that's because yeah, some I people lo- want Rita. 
subreddits and stuff like that. Moose the Mark, who do you want to see win this thing? Who deserves it in your eyes? With all these with all these changes you've talked about in the last three years, where are we at? <laughs> Look, brother, I, I already gave you my opinion. I was inspired by Wired. No one was going to win this Royal Rumble because no one is deserving of it. Pandemic or no pandemic, peacock or no peacock, uh, yeah, so a, grow the bums pull, out. What's NBC rooting for? What's the peacock Ow. want? Because if it's the peacock, what better symbol to represent your network than Randy Orton? Sure, why not? This horrible, burned, mutilated face like a Batman villain. <laughs> you got to think about who's going to pop the digital crowd the most, <laughs> I guess. That's really what they should be thinking about here. I'd love it if Randy Orton set the Thunderdome on fire on the last. Well, night. that's that's how this could end. that's how this could end with no one winning. Randy Orton just sets the ring on fire and everybody has to leave. <laughs> Burned alive. That would be amazing, and, including Seth. And Rollins. then per Perry Saturn comes out and tells everybody to go home. <laughs> go go go. <laughs> well. Brady X, some of us think that some guys deserve it. Others think no one deserves it. Let us know what you think. Bill Calsonis, uh, it's not a matter of deserve, right? It's about money. Is there anybody whose money in this Royal Rumble, in your opinion? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to stick. I'm just going to stick with AJ Styles. So I'm going to stick with the whole time. I'm not changing my mind. I'm going to write down his name as my winner. Or maybe you be not. careful. Hollywood customers because Hollywood's moving a lot of their stuff to Georgia. AJ Styles could, could take <laughs> to, to, could take this from you. Look, first tax of all, are better out there. He could take a role from uh, you. Wired, if you want to talk to me, talk to my secretary and she'll give me your messages. All right. <laughs> I just so I know Will Calsonis is hoping he'll be in Spy Kids Five, and I heard AJ Styles is up for a role in that too. Like you guys, the George Lopez his reboot too. I heard this is a very good possibility for him. Yeah, it's. I heard. Uh, yeah, AJ Styles was going to play Theo AJ, so that's that's something you also want to look out for. Hollywood Calsonis. I want to get too cozy with that guy. He seems like a snake in the grass. That almost he's going to get turned on. But if he's a part of the Royal Rumble, it'll be interesting. No Kofi Kingston though. Got to mention that Moose the Mark. That's a major bummer. Who takes that role? Can anybody? I don't know. Maybe John Morrison. Morrison. Well, what about Ali? Morrison. He provided a compelling argument on SmackDown. Mustafa Ali. We'll see what Retribution does. We'll see what Slapjack does. And we'll see if Samoa Joe enters and wins the whole thing and fulfills my prophecy. We'll see. God. We'll have to see. The but fact that he doesn't so have a scenarios. championship is just a travesty. And do you think anybody talking the Royal Rumble right now, Brainiacs, painted as many pictures, possibilities as we just did? No. Not as unique, not as many, because it's Brain Buster Radio. That's what we do, Triple J. All the Royal Rumble talk, and we've got very little left of this show, but we have just enough that it's going to really make this thing finish off the right way, like the 1990 Royal Rumble. Yes, the final competitors, the final entrance you'll be hearing from very shortly, so don't go anywhere. And when we return, a bloodbath with Falls Count Anywhere. Here on Brain Buster Radio Royal Rumble. 2021. Wrestling fans, it is I, a sensei called Wired, and welcome to Wired's Gelato Joe. Located on the corner of McBean and Seco Canyon, we are Santa Clarita Valley's most notorious Royal Rumble Dojo. Here, you'll learn to flip, grab, pull, and throw the competition over the top rope. Oh, great technique. As a former All-Valley Royal Rumble winner myself, I know what it takes to get the competition to surrender and over the top rope. Not bad, but make sure you keep that weight evenly distributed on both feet. My students are the most disciplined and trained competitors to hit a wrestling ring since the mid-80s. Isn't that right? Yes, Sensei! With daily classes, I show you all the strikes to not be such a pussy in the ring. Watch. 
Class, fighting positions. Grapple, yeah. yeah. Toss, yeah. yeah. See, it's that simple. And this year, I plan to demonstrate my tactics as I declare for this year's All Valley Royal Rumble. Because one thing's for sure, my students know that I'm not such a pussy. Isn't that right? Yes, Sensei! Do we show mercy? No, Sensei! Is anyone better than a Sensei called Wired? No, Sensei! So if you want to learn from the best and not any of those other Brain Buster Radio losers, meet me at College of the Canyon Stadium this weekend for a free demonstration of Wired's Jalad Dojo. That's on the corner of Valencia and Rockwell Canyon. And remember, don't be such a pussy. Yeah! Hey, 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 it's me, your old pal, Hobo Ken, and have I got a joke for you. What's the difference between a tuna can and a wrestling ring? I can't kick your ass in a tuna can! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I got another one. What do you get when you put your old pal, Hobo Ken, and Mini Horowitz in the Royal Rumble ring? You get Hobo Ken beating the shit out of me, Horowitz! <laughs> and I'll see you in the Royal Rumble ring! <laughs> honk honk! Beep beep! <laughs> I learned a lot. And I learned that uh, it makes a difference. And this was the wrestling ring area. And I was one of the Royal Rumble... And they weren't allowed to. It was a 20-foot ring. You fell over the ropes. You landed on the damn darn cement over there. Triple J was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. And I did. And back in those days, to show you how things changed, one of the things you had to do if you used pomade in your hair, you had to wear a wrestling mask. And so he was up on the turnbuckle, wouldn't listen to me. I said, hey, Rock and Robin, you, out of the ring, or I'm going to come over and throw you out. Well, he jumped out and he said, I'll meet you in the locker room. So I walked out with the chair, and I walked up to my car, and, the, and in those days, you ever remember the little ring carts? You had to be in them instead of walking to the ring, and they were these little miniature rings. They pulled you out to the ring on them. And I looked at them. I looked at Triple J, but I was smart then. And I said, when I tell you to get out of the ring, you get out of the ring. And I'll throw you out again. But I shouldn't have called you Rock and Robin, and I apologize for that. I apologize. But I didn't know that apology was going to work. He said, you apologize to me? I said, I apologize, but not for throwing you out, but I apologize for what I said. And he said, okay, picked a new Royal Rumble number, and my heart started to beat again. And speaking of my heart, I want to introduce you to a very special friend of mine. Not a joke. Her name's Mets Fan Forever, and she's a real special gal. And this is what she's going to say to me when we win Royal Rumble. You did it. You did it, Moose. You're going to main event the next WrestleMania. Katie the Cutter here. I'm ready to get back in the ring for Royal Rumble. I cut COVID in 2020, and I'll cut anyone in my path, especially you, Gina the Muncher. I'm coming at you like the vaccine. Don't close your eyes unless you want to get cut up. Hey y'all, Gina LaMunche here, coming to you live from my day job. Let me tell you the story. Here I am working for the old in-house group, showing some condos, and this guy says to me, you sound familiar, are you from the Royal Rumble? And I said, excuse me, you don't know who I am? I am the OG, Gina the M -M Muncha, and I cannot wait to get back there this year. I am gonna munch it up. This Katie the Cutter, Cutter bullshit. You ain't cutting shit, you know what you're cutting? You're cutting a loser ribbon. And this Miss Melissa Beth, I'm gonna slice and dice her up, sprinkle her all over that mat, and eat her like today's lunch. Hold on one second, sorry. Yes, sir, I'll be right there. Gotta go, see you at the Royal Rumble. Mm -mm. Jumping Jacob J here, and the Royal Rumble is coming up. 2021, we have been promised that everything is going to be better, and no better way to start it off than me reclaiming my crown. So you know what? I know we got a lot of brain busters in this one, but I want to focus out on the individuals that I have the most respect for in this one. Moose to Mark, you step in that ring with me, you're going to be flatter than a plate full of piss in there. Colder than a banker's heart, over the top rope. A man called Wired, or may I call him the beast with the least. 
I get my hands on you, you're going to be selling like an auctioneer inside an empty building. And Mil Calzonas, if that is your Christian name, I got one good thing to say to you. Of all the luchadors I have ever seen, you are one of them. Vin Man, oh, I got some big, big plans for you because you're going to be boarding with the warden at the end of this one. And Long Allen, you know what? I'll give you a little respect. Some people say that you have issues. I say you have subscriptions. And I know this. You couldn't sell pussy to a sailor on shore leave, so you have absolutely no chance of repeating as the Royal Rumble winner. 2021 Triple J Royal Rumble. This is the way the world goes round. I pick you up. And I'm going to throw you down. This is the way the world goes round. <laughs> Hello, Brain Busters. Well, it's another year, 2021. How's your year going, huh? Huh, y'all been huddled up? Huh, just like Wild Bill Knight. You know how Wild Bill feels. Life's been tough. It's been real tough. Well, this year I'm challenging you all. I'm calling you out now by an infant man. You're dead. Jumpin' Jacob 5 dead. Milk Hell Zone's dead. A man called Wire dead. Moose the Mark dead. Miss Elizabeth dead. Sandy the CPA dead. Minnie Horror was dead. Angelica Sunday dead. Clint dead. Catfish Ford dead. Colonel Robert Earl dead. Cheating a muncher dead. Take the cutter dead. Patty Boy Smith, you're dead. <sighs> and last but not least, Soft Island Ice Tea. <laughs> How's marriage going? I've been waiting for this, huh? Yeah, I said a couple of nice words to you when you were getting married. But not anymore. <laughs> I want you all to line up, right? And I want you to look to the darkness, huh? Just keep walking. You can all hold hands. You can skip. You can dance. You can do the cha-cha. I don't care what you do. Just start walking towards the darkness. Because this year, this year belongs to Wild Bill. Wild Bill's not going to be denied this year. <laughs> yes, Bernie Busters. My time has come. This is the way the world goes around. I pick people up. I throw you down. This is the way that the world's gonna go around. Walk towards the darkness. Walk towards the darkness. Walk towards the darkness. Because Wild Bill is in the light. Almost out of people to run in here, I think, I hope. And it's the final six. The Brain Buster Radio 2021 Royal Rumble. And I am uh, thoroughly terrified right now. Yeah, I'm sleeping with a light on tonight. 
Yeah, Bill Calsonis, I don't know about you. You've been on horror movie sets, but I feel like we're living one in real life right now. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Look, man, I've never seen anyone crazier than Wild Bill, and I've been to Shia LaBeouf's house, so I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. And we, that reminded me, too, like, Triple J, we didn't mention, can Bray Wyatt come back from the dead and win the Royal Rumble? Is that possible? Uh, we've seen crazier things happen in the last year of professional wrestling, so I, I would not count it out. Actually, I put, I put money on it, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> Any chance Michelle let Mark out for a day to come into this Royal Rumble? Any chance? <laughs> uh, that one, I don't think. No, he's going to be on <laughs> Royal right? at the Super Bowl selling yeah. his cameo. I think he has his own booth well, now. Probably. Well, that's we've talked all that about that match and rest in we, podcast. We didn't pick winners. Uh, we didn't pick winners. We uh, we left it for this moment. Maybe I don't know. It's up to you, uh, Vin Man, Triple J, Mil Calsonis, Moose the Mark, Man Called Wired, because this is your moment. This is your time to make a case for the 2021 Royal Rumble, because it's that moment where the blood will spill. And everyone's feet are going to touch the floor except one person. Who will it be? Are you ready, Vin Man? Yeah, I'm ready. Triple J. Moose the Mark. Praise all of our podcast brother. people. Got to say something. I said something. Man, I know you did. Man called Wire. <laughs> what a jack off. <laughs> Mil Calsonis? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. They're ready, Brainiacs. Some of them nodded. Some of them confirmed with the yes. Some of them are going to be thrown out of that ring and falls count anywhere. Now, I think the Women's Royal Rumble was just too close to call. So I'm going to have to keep pondering that, keep running the simulations, and ultimately, I'll come to a decision by Sunday night. But the men's Royal Rumble, I think this one has a different, a different feel to it, a, di a different touch because for the first time ever, the Royal Rumble, the daddy of the Royal Rumble, the great Pat Patterson, unfortunately will not be in the building when it's happening. So a lot of girl and a lot of guy have made careers off of this match. And once again, it's going to happen because I believe that fellow Canadian, French Canadian, Pat Patterson could be the invisible hand in this match, could be guiding a certain superstar in that ring. Someone that there's been rumors for years and years that he was coming back. And last year it finally happened. And we all know this year that he is going to be in it. So that's why my unofficial prediction for the men's Royal Rumble is the Canadian Edge. Brainiacs, it is I. A man called Wired. And I don't know why I had to throw Canadian there, but that's fine. I don't really understand that. Uh, either way, it's, it's a Royal Rumble that we've never seen before. Why? Well, that's because there's nobody there. Nobody except the 60 plus superstars that are actually competing in the event. Now, okay, thank you, Long Island. Uh, that makes sense. I'm, I'm confused. Anyway, after all is said and done, finally, the winner of this Royal Rumble is gonna go on to something that matters. And it's not just WrestleMania. It's not just a WrestleMania in front of fans. It's a WrestleMania in front of fans for the first time in over a year. So claim your stake, everyone, because this is the moment. Who am I picking? I can't give you that. Why would I give you that? Because then everyone's just going to pick what I have. Don't do that. But I will say this. Pick someone. Hey. Fine. Go. I'm done. Wow. Well, let me tell you something, Brainiacs. When you you tell the whole world that you're not going to pick anybody, people stop listening. Uh, so I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm, 
<laughs> I'm, I'm oh gonna make. God, he got thrown out of the ring into the Thunderdome. <laughs> I'm gonna make a prediction here. He got, he got thirty men. He got thirty women. Sixty numbers in this Royal Rumble. The hardest to predict of all time, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, to, to win this Rumble, you, you know, you, you gotta be, you gotta have some intelligence. You, you gotta have the strength. You gotta have the size. You gotta have the speed. You gotta have the quickness, uh, and you gotta have a lot of luck. That luck of the draw is so, so important. So important. Uh, I, I kind of alluded to it earlier in the show about uh, Bianca Belair. I think this. I think she's gonna win. She, she's the most impressive. We saw her in that combine performance uh, a couple years ago. It seems like, and just showing that she is, you know, hands down maybe the best athlete, uh, pound for pound, in uh, World Wrestling Entertainment. Uh, and on for the men's rumble, I I would love to see Bobby Lashley and the Hurt Business get this dub, but I don't I don't see it happening. I'm picking Big E Langston. This guy is due. I'm telling you right now, this guy is due. He has just been putting on shows, uh, entertaining people for a long time, and now it's serious business, and he's gonna get the job done. And go to WrestleMania out of nowhere. Big E Langston, take it to the bank. Oh, my brother, testify. You know, the Royal Rumble is usually a time of rebirth, new beginnings, the start of the road to WrestleMania, and what's really kind of the season kickoff of WWE. But in this time of change, this uh, graduation, if you will. Um, it's, it's important to look back on the things we lost. And I just want to talk right now about a day back in 2014, February 24th, 2014, to be exact. The day that will live in history as the day the WWE launched the WWE Network, a way over the top standalone streaming service for just $9.99 a month, Michael. And you know what? It was a grand experiment. You shoot for the moon, sometimes you miss, sometimes you land on the moon. They didn't quite do it this time. The WWE Network, an utter failure. And yet, and yet, an utter, it, in its failure, it will make them more money than its success ever would have through this Peacock deal. So, a tremendous accomplishment and sincere kudos. To the WWE Network for what you accomplished and how much money you gave the WWE in your death. Godspeed. All right. Jennifer, Jennifer, honey, Bubala, get off the phone. Did Marburger pay me to do a false count? They did? Okay. All right. Everybody wants to know who Hollywood Mill Calzonis is picking to win the Royal Rumble. Well, are you ready for my pick? Might surprise you. Are you ready? Hollywood Milk Calzone is me. I am picking... Wait, what? Jennifer, they only paid for 15 seconds? They couldn't afford more? Okay. All right, well, that's it. I'm done. Oh, what a bummer. All right, well, I'll give a pick. Charlotte Flair. Enjoy the Royal Rumble, everybody. Oh, yeah, and also the Men's Royal Rumble. I expect the unexpected. Who knows? Maybe Greg the Hammer Valentine will come out there and hit some people with elbows. Maybe, maybe, maybe Kofi Kingston's jaw is not broken and he'll fly, flip-flop and fly around the ring. But ultimately, as wrestling fans, what we always hope for is something shocking, something crazy, something unexpected. So we kind of hope for it and we talk about it, but we know it's impossible. But please, please... Let me just pray now to the invisible hand that moves everything through the universe. Please, for the love of God, figure out a way to get the belt collector from wherever he is right now, in an airplane, somewhere off the coast of North Carolina, 
and down to Florida and Tropicana Field where we can get the greatest wrestler in the world in the Royal Rumble. That's all I could hope for because really the only person I could think of that's worthy of facing Roman Reigns in a sanctioned match is Kenny Omega. Anyone else who wins is undeserving and they might as well choose the winner of Goldberg, Drew McIntyre. That's how I see that match. Kind of similar to how Charlotte Flair just rules women's wrestling. Roman Reigns has reached that level now too. The head of the table. I'm seeing this Royal Rumble as kind of a celebration of him and also a big gathering, like Bruce the Mark said, of the most people ever since this COVID thing hit. But there you have it. That's what I'm looking for. An official prediction, not on that match, but I'll give you Charlotte Flair. Take that shit to the bank. Look, I know all of you guys can't see me during that false count anywhere, Alan, Long Island. I know you can. Moose the Mark, what are you fucking talking? How do you fail and still make a billion dollars? Only the w- only only in the WWE, baby. Anything, anything, can anything can happen. WWE. Anything yeah, can happen in the WWE. Unbelievable. How do you call that a failure? Right. How does the word failure in a billion dollars in the same sentence? Unless you lose it. Value is uh, this is what we learned this week is subjective. A man called Wired. So you see, I don't a know. A billion dollar dollars deal. is pretty straightforward Moose to the me. Mark, Moose the Mark. You see a billion dollar deal. Moose the Mark sees Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles on SmackDown. Do <laughs> you think if Daniel Bryan doesn't win this Royal Rumble, Moose the Mark's going to be kicking grasslands all the way home? Oh yeah. There's no one Moose the Mark's rooting for that much. His heart was literally broken in Pittsburgh. Never been the same. Day. He's never been the same. That's how the Rumble could change people, Triple G. Yeah, it has changed people before. And I mean, if there's one thing to take away from this episode, it's that Darby Allen is the new Goldberg. <laughs> that's, I think that's, that's one learned. thing we can all agree that's on. One. We can, yeah. And also, we've, we've differed in also, predictions, but. Yes, and also that Ric Flair is going to get laid on Sunday. Oh, yes. I think we could all And Monday. Oh, yes. And oh. Tuesday. And Charlotte's probably going to walk in on it. <laughs> like this. Oh, no, Dad. No, stop, uh, please. Yeah. She's got Chone Chone. I think she's good for a while. Oh, we didn't mention him. He could win the Royal Rumble. Milk Pelsonis, anything left before you play us out of here? Uh, no, man. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> contract terminate uh, contract who's pushing up. the buttons they don't pay me enough for that i have jennifer hollywood uh, she's doing it okay i think he's been having an intern push the buttons all day they did a good job maybe we'll hire him moose the mark anything left on the internet gimmicks we didn't get out here well uh, long island I, I think it's all exhausted it's all out there everything you want to know is out there some big developments happening in japan right now as a matter of fact during this very broadcast but uh at the risk of spoiling our global community uh let's just say uh some doors are never fully closed wow <laughs> and now and with that i go to new japan world which is not a billion dollar streaming service, but I will be watching that to prepare for the Rumble. Vin Man, how about you? Yeah, sometimes those doors aren't fully closed because they're left open by an invisible hand. I, th- I think that's what, what we've learned on, on this episode. But and then I'm, there's a doorman shutting them all. So it's, I don't know how to keep track. Uh, well, I think it depends on if the doorman is retired, semi-retired, or fully working. Either way, I'm here to Rumble. <laughs> Salt to social media. I'm ready to rum. I'm ready to rum. Oh, oh, oh. That's about it. You know, your singing's not as good as your instrument playing. That's what people want to hear. Yeah, but well, yeah, I think there should be a at the at the conclusion of the show there should be a, a, a send off trumpet uh, to help everybody prepare for the rumble. Triple J, did we hit all? Check all the boxes. Are we in order here? Can we go? go uh, watch we're, we are people? in order. Remember. I am number one again because I am number one. He's a legend, that's for sure. Beautiful. He is Mr. Royal Rumble until Sunday when I win it all and I tie his ass. But until then, Brainiacs, just enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the Royal Rumble. And we'll see you back here on Brainbuster Radio for the next one. 
where we break all that down. Maybe one of us is set on fire on the Royal Rumble. You don't know. All I know is that you could follow along at the Brain Busters. Tweet it, read it, tout it, shout it, be all about it. On Instagram, Instagram, Junior, Twitter. And of course, you know, why don't you give why don't you give a man called Wire to follow on Twitter? How nice is that of me to do for you? Giving you a shout out on your social media there, Wire. Because that's you. what people do at the end of shows. Now help me in the Royal Rumble. Help me win. Help me win. Sure, buddy. You up. I'll be right behind help you. Help me win. Help me win. Remember, it's the Royal Rumble. If someone's shaking your hand, offering you a deal, they're probably going to screw you over. For Triple J. For Moose the Mark on the internet gimmicks. For Vinman on limited dates. The Sultan of Social Media Man called Wired. Mil Calzones on the Unos and Doses in Hollywood. And Long Allen Ice Tea. I'm Long Allen Ice Tea saying, I got to get the hell out of here because I too. I'm ready to rumble.